Hello, newcomers! Welcome to Academy Island! Student life in this scholastic paradise is supported by the very latest in technological advancement, provided by Japan's leading company, the Sciengy Corporation. Your rank in this institution will be determined by the number of stars you have to your name. But how do I gain stars, I hear you ask? Well, the quickest and most convenient method is to earn them by competing in games with your fellow students. So play games, win stars, and aim for the singular seven-star title, the highest rank a student can achieve. Your new life as a student and your path to a better, brighter future starts today. I never even wanted to become a seven-star in the first place. So why is this happening to me? Uh, okay. If that's me, then I'm lost. girl is like super cute. No, wait, scratch that. She's more pretty than cute. Those ruby eyes. She looks familiar though. Have I seen her somewhere before? An idol? A model? So, um, did you have a question or not? I don't really have a lot of time to hang around. Oh, my bad. That is to say, sorry, I do have a question. You see, I only just arrived on the island yesterday and well, I think I might be lost. Do you know how to get to Aimee Academy from here? Amy Academy is in District 4, right? This is District 3. Huh? Amy Academy right here. Not too good with maps, huh? I'm sorry. No need to apologize. And you don't need to be so formal either. You're a second year, aren't you? That means we're the same age as each other. I guess you're right about that. What? Wait, what? How'd you know what year I'm in? Using your device, you can easily access basic information about the people around you, like their name and academic details. Of course, that only applies if the person is lower in rank than you. Ah. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't already know that. Aren't device overviews a part of the standard student induction process? Uh, well, I'm kind of in the habit of skipping tutorials. <laughs> Seriously? Are you in the habit of asking strangers to catch you up on things instead? Alright. Let me see your device for a second. The device is an essential tool for life on the island. Not only is it the one place you'll find a workable map, but its built-in social media app stock is pretty vital if you want to keep up to date with things. You can send and receive messages through it too. Also, this app is how you send game requests. If you want to take someone's stars, then just load it up and play. Okay? Uh, thank you. <laughs> that said, technology is only as good as the user. The device isn't going to be much help if you can't make sense of the map. District 4 is nearby. I can take you as far as the entrance to the major plaza there, so stay close. Oh, sure thing. Man, she has a cute smile! So if you only got in yesterday, does that mean you're a transfer student? Yeah. Would have been a pretty lousy first day if I missed the orientation ceremony. Oh, that's right! Our orientation's this afternoon, too. I gotta go. This is District 4. Think you can manage from here? Uh, yeah, thank you! Right, see ya! Are you okay? Tell me, and be honest, is this what you were planning the whole time? Huh? What do you mean planning? This was obviously just a coincidence. Obviously? I wonder about that. I mean, you don't look very surprised to me. And this whole thing has been off from the start. A student who can't use the standard-issued device, wandering helplessly around District 3, asking directions to 4? This plaza was the closest route between the two. You weaponized your ignorance, knowing I'd have to lead you this way myself. Huh? No, that's not what- Quiet! I don't want to hear your excuses! I bet you wanted this. Embarrass me. Douse me like a fool, then take advantage in the aftermath. But it's not gonna happen! Oh? Mm-mm. You want a game so bad? I'll give you one! You're a student of Academy Island, so face me head on, you coward! If that's what it takes, all I ask is that when the game's over, you hear me out, alright? Oh, come up with some clever excuse, did you? Hm, fine then. I'll listen to what you have to say, but that's all. <sighs> I guess it's a start. Hurry up and make the request already! Uh-huh. Are you still playing the newbie? You know as well as I do that the game request has to come from the lower-ranked player. Mm -hmm. Oh, sending request now. Hmm. 
All right, I received it. So the details of the game are... Jeez. The requester has to set parameters for the game that the players can follow. If the higher ranked person picked the game, they could just stack the odds in their favor and win. So to be fair, the requester gets to decide. But not you, huh? I'm just one big joke to you, aren't I? I don't follow. The game request you sent is totally blank! You haven't set any conditions at all! Oh, I get it. You're so confident you can beat me at anything that you're giving me free reign to decide? No, that's not it at all! I was just pushing random buttons. I didn't know what they meant. You know, it's been a long time since anyone's made me feel an ice-cold fury like this! If that's what you want to think about me, then fine. So, are you gonna choose a game or what? You're mocking me! Okay, stay right there while I get this game set up. A turn-based staring contest on hard mode? Ready? Like the name suggests, this game is a harder version of a staring contest. In a normal staring contest, you laugh, you lose. But in this one, any reaction's a loss. Those sensors, they're watching your every move, show the slightest twitch of emotion, and it's game over. And the turn-based part? Just what it sounds like, you and I will trade off taking turns throughout. Now. When it's your turn, you're free to make whatever expression you want, free of any penalty. Pull a face, make an impression, do whatever you can to make me react. While it's your turn, you're the attacker. You get 60 seconds and then we switch. Makes sense. Why don't we get this game started then, huh? Uh, you sure? You haven't even selected an ability yet. Ability? I really should read the tutorials! Uh, I'll just go ahead and skip mine. I'll be fine without one. Fine without one? Who is this guy? <sighs> yeah, abilities. Even having one of them restricted in the application could be a massive handicap to a seasoned combatant. And you're gonna stand there and tell me you can win without using any abilities at all? What a joke! I screwed up. <laughs> I get it. That's fine. Totally fine. If that's the way you want it, then that's the way we're gonna do it! Let's just begin, shall we? It's time somebody put you in your place! The game has begun. Right. The game will start off with you going first. From there, turns will change every 60 seconds without warning. For me, at least. I'm afraid you won't enjoy the luxury of a full minute. Ability. Numeric Adjustment Level 7. Reduce opponent's turn duration to 1 tenth. Huh? Hey, come on, that's cheating! What are you talking about? That was a commonly used basic tactical ability? You know, like the one of many you passed on setting up? <sighs> turn over. Now it's my turn! Creation EX, activate! What the heck is that? What's happening? What do you think it is? It's an ability, duh. Well, aren't you gonna run away? Run away? Of course. After all, I did just create a weapon. Last chance. Take this! Oh. A razor edge oh. sword arcing his way should unnerve him, no doubt. Huh. Fear, surprise, exhaustion. Anything goes for the sensors. But fatigue's a blade that cuts both ways. I bet he thinks if he keeps dodging, I'll run out of steam and ease up the offense. Well, too bad! Uh, what the heck? Why are all these people watching us? My clothes are drying off. That's a relief. At least I won't have to go to the orientation soaked. <laughs> Why? Today's the opening ceremony. As an academy representative, I have to go up in front of everybody. And now, I'll have to do it what? Turn over. You perfectly timed the sprinkler system to get my dry clothes damp again, didn't you? No, I didn't! It's just busted! I can't go in front of the other students like this. But even right here, all of these strangers are staring at me soaking wet. The reaction he wanted from me wasn't exhaustion, was it? It was embarrassment! Don't look at me! Sarasa Sainji, expression change confirmed. Game winning condition achieved. Result? Star ownership is transferred from Sarasa Sayanji to Hiroto Shinohara. Hey. Leave me alone. Hiroto Shinohara, yes? Good day, sir. The headmistress requests your presence. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Only your first day, transfer student, and look at the mess you've wrought. Are you talking about that game out in the plaza? Yes. 
At least you're observant. I'm sorry, but what's the problem? Aren't games like that an everyday thing here? They are. Regular games, that is. But unfortunately for you, this one was different. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You've unwittingly broken a rather precarious taboo, champ. Let's review the situation. This morning on your way to the orientation ceremony, you got lost and met a girl. You were so taken by her beauty that you devised a wicked plan to isolate, sexually harass and coerce her into a game, which you then won by publicly humiliating her. I guess that's right, but I was just asking for directions. The harassment is the only real problem. The taking of the stars, not so much. That's actually normal for students of Amei Academy. Look, the whole thing was a misunderstanding. But a misunderstanding with her. A second year high school student from Oka Academy in District 3. She achieved the highest entrance exam score in our history, going on to claim the top position as the island's only seven star. Until today, her loss column stood at zero. That captivating beauty you stumbled across is known to many as the Empress Sarasa Sionji. Sionji? I think I've heard that name before. You probably have. The Sionji family are the founders of Academy Island. The current head director of the island is Masamune Sionji. Sarasa is Masamune Sionji's granddaughter. She's a VIP among VIPs. You mean to say, I beat the Empress? Yes, an unimportant little worm like you. A boy with the lowest transfer exam score in our history, barely scraping in. Someone of such refreshingly low status. A grunt, an NPC. All right, all right, I get it already. Do you really? A boy like you dominating Masamune's granddaughter? That man's a tremendously staunch, prideful, and merciless individual. And he's very scary when he's angry. <sighs> so then, am I expelled? If that would fix things, it would have already happened. The head director would do anything to protect the Sionji family reputation. Anything. <sighs> but there is still a way to snatch you back from the Jaws of Doom. And that is to make you a seven star. Huh? Huh? What is the most troubling part of the situation? It's the fact that the Empress Sarasa Sionji was defeated by a troglodyte. If she was defeated by a comparative equal, Masamune Sionji likely wouldn't be so upset. So, we'll just make you the same level as her. You'll become a 7-star. Whoa, hold on! I'm a 1! I couldn't make it to 7 if it killed me! Right? Someone like you could never dream of such an accomplishment. What with being the insignificant little nobody that you so painfully are. Come on, I said I get the picture already! But luck is on your side. Check out your device. Huh? You just won a game against the Empress, didn't you? Look at the color of the star you stole from her. Wait, aren't stars supposed to be white? Yes, but that's no normal star. Only 10 or 15 special stars like that one have been confirmed on the island. The red star carries with it a special effect, you see. When you think of the color red, what comes to mind? Uh, ketchup? Thank you for the surprisingly cute answer, but no. That devilish red star confers to you the ability to lie one time about anything. That's all. Get it? Aren't lies red by their very definition? A lie? No way. The only way. Use the lie to augment your star classification and become a 7 star. But is that even possible? It is. Before the Empress held it, that red star was in the possession of the Sionji family, remaining in their care for quite some time. Not many people around today are aware of its effect. Then how do you know about it? Because I, myself, am a previous red star holder. So what you're saying is, I have to become a fake 7 star? Yes. We'll sell it like, transfer student gets record-breaking test scores surpassing even the Empress. Or perhaps, a new genius appears, making it to 7 star on his very first day. <sighs> of course, you don't have to do this. You can decline. The choice is entirely yours. If red's just not your color, then pack up your things and leave the island. We'll say you leveraged an illegal ability against the Empress, nullifying the match. But do you really want it to end like that? Didn't you have a reason for coming here? A goal? Yes, I do have a goal. There's someone I have to find. I can't accept a bad ending. If you give up now, it's over. In fact, you'll probably never see her again. Sounds like you've really thought this all through. No, this is as much a surprise to me as to anyone else. But I'm quite the ambitious woman at my core. If an opportunity falls into my lap, I'm hardly going to pass it up. Play the part, huh? If that's what it takes, I'll do it! Uh... <laughs> that was incredible! The 
sheer audacity. I don't see what's so funny about it. As long as you don't mind being absolutely crushed and humiliated in front of the entire student body. You're making fun of me. No, not at all. I'm cheering for you. <laughs> but in all seriousness, that was a masterclass in psychological subversion. You're a natural at disconnecting your inner feelings and outward appearance. Scouting you for this academy was clearly a stroke of genius. So, um, question. Where am I supposed to live from now on? Oh, I've arranged a dorm for you. I'll send the coordinates to your device. Appreciate it. See you soon! Looking forward to your next great performance! If you don't mind being absolutely crushed and humiliated! A red lie. <sighs> hey. You know, that was a wonderful speech you gave at the ceremony today. How did you... It's plastered all over stock! Oh, huh? So... What is it you want exactly? You found my weakness and thrust yourself into the spotlight, and yet you still haven't exposed my secret? What are you doing? Gathering more attention before you absolutely crush me? Please, I'm begging you, don't. I know I have no right to ask. I know I'm being selfish, but I have my reasons for doing this. Reasons for keeping up this lie, whatever the cost. So I'm begging you, please, I'll do anything you ask. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Look, I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Quit playing dumb! I'm not messing around here. This is serious. I know you know. You want to make me say it? Fine. I'm not sad as a Sayonji. Say what? Are you satisfied? There. I said it. I'm not Sarasa. I've been acting as her double here for the past year, but my real name is Rina Akabane. A whole year of winning games, knowing that if I lost, my secret was out. And today, I lost to you. You took the Red Star from me when you won the game, which means you know the truth that I was hiding. Are you saying the Red Star comes with some kind of penalty? Ugh! Are you still playing dumb? The Red Star holder gets to tell a lie, right? But if they lose it to someone, that person gets to find out what lie they told. You must know that! After all, you're the holder of the Red Star now. Listen, Nakabane. I mean, Sionji. I'm afraid you've got this whole thing wrong. Until you told me just now, I honestly had no idea about your lie. I really did get here yesterday, and I really am still that inept at using my device. Also, this is the first time I'm hearing of the Red Star having a disadvantage. Uh, no way! That can't be true! You beat me so easily and became a 7-star on your very first day! I guess it does look like that on the surface, huh? But the truth is, I'm not a 7-star at all. Huh? That's actually the lie I'm telling. I'm using the Red Star's effect to boost my status. My legitimate rank is only one lousy star. All I've got is this red one I took from you. I'm as low rank as they come. I have my reasons the same as you, so I'm having to lie about my ranking. The... Huh? Stop. Hang on. Hold up a second. Let me get this straight. You're not the strongest person on Academy Island. You won our game by accident. And you seriously didn't know my secret? Yeah, that's more or less the gist of it. But... If that would mean... I did all of this to myself? Whoa, wait a minute. She's a double, ergo she's not the real Empress. So it follows that she's not the daughter of the Sionji family. Which means, even though I beat her, the Director would have no reason to be angry with me, right? So why the heck did I even need to become a 7-star in the first place?! Uh. 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 Excuse me, could I ask what your name is? Uh, it's Hiroto Shinohara. Master Shinohara? I beg your pardon for my lapse in decorum. I imagine I appeared quite foolish hiding as I did. Please forgive me. Silky white hair, small face, big eyes. Oh man, even her voice is adorable. Uh, why exactly did you hide, miss? No need to be so formal. It's simply that I wasn't informed you would be male, Master Shinohara. But still, the fact is immaterial to my responsibilities. I'm Shiro Yuki Himeji, a student enrolled in District 3's Oga Academy. On request of District 4's Headmistress Ichinose, I will be serving in the capacity of your live-in assistant starting from today. Come again? Some tea. What do you mean by live-in? I don't believe it to be far from the conventional definition. I will live and sleep here, aiding you in whatever manner I'm able, sir. Sleep here? I apologize in advance for any disappointment, but we will have separate bedrooms. Dis d disappointment That's not really the issue here. Huh? Never mind, forget about it. I just didn't think that you'd like- I don't. Not in the least. You're giving me mixed signals! 
My reservations aren't personal, I'm nearly unaccustomed to the male presence. My ire is entirely for Headmistress Ichinose. Huh, I don't know what beef you have with her, but trust me, I can relate. Then we have common ground. As good a sign as any for the prospect of peaceful coexistence, eh, Master? You know, you can sit down if you want. I'm fine. Please don't worry about me. A maid does not sit in the presence of her betters. Look, you're making me nervous, you know? We're both here at the whims of the headmistress. No need to put me on a pedestal. Uh, well, if you insist, I would hate for you to feel uncomfortable, Master. You called yourself an assistant, so I'm guessing you're not just a regular housemaid. Observant. Tell me, Master, when was it you last ate? Huh? Dig in. No way! Is this all for me? Yes. Perhaps I made a little more than necessary. A little more is kind of underselling it. You're gonna have some too, right? I'll wait until after you're finished, Master. No, no! It'll have gone cold by then. You can help me eat it now. Very well, if you wish for me to do so. Right. I guess I'll dig in. Oh, this is delicious! Such succulent divine flavors! Could this perfect meal truly have been made by human hands? I'm not entirely sure whether that's flattering or belittling. Words fail and praise is not enough! This is everything! My, how unexpected. You certainly are effusive with your feelings, Master Shinohara. Hmm? Yeah, I guess I am. I'd actually heard that you were exceedingly adept at hiding what you felt. Hmm. Yeah, but I can swing to the other extreme when I let my guard down. Oh. And your guard is down now? Yeah. I mean, it's not like you've given me any reason to be on edge or anything. Oh, I see. Any food aversions I should know about? Nah, I'll eat just about anything, especially if it's this good. <laughs> Alright, we'll start with a detailed overview. To prevent unauthorized access, I'll be displaying this content offline. If anyone were to spy on us, it would spell an end to all this. She's not wrong. By using the Red Star to become a fake Seven Star, we're basically pulling off one huge scam. This isn't morally gray, it's black as sin. And if it gets out, I'm done for. Academy Island. Save for zero, each district has one, resulting in a grand total of 20. These academies are ranked and scored on a yearly basis. In accordance with their rank placement, each academy is granted certain privileges. Uh, do the students' stars have anything to do with it? Indeed they do. Students possessing five or more stars are considered to be advanced. The more of those an academy has, the higher its ranking will be. And should one have a student with seven stars, it'll usually rank top. Well, that explains why the headmistress was so on to Khan. And this tremendous systematic value is also why the seven stars are so thoroughly targeted. That makes sense. If a six star beats me, they can take my position at the top. But still, they're putting their own stars on the line too, right? Yes. However, the reward outweighs the risk for lower ranks, so even a small chance of winning is statistically worth the gamble. Also, the abilities of a 7-star typically help mitigate the threats posed to them. Case in point, these are the game results over the past year for the Empress Sionji. Sadly, her defensive arsenal isn't available to you, Master. Huh? Why not? Because of your score on the transfer exam. <clears throat> a score so outstandingly pathetic it's almost unbearable to look at. I fear most schools would have laughed you out. <clears throat> Pardon my candor. At any rate, your true rank is still one star, Master. Meaning that, in upcoming games, you will only be able to use abilities at a one star level. Those are the weakest ones, aren't they? Yes, you'll essentially be fighting boss battles as a level one player. That doesn't sound good, but I'm guessing that's kind of the reason you were sent here, wasn't it? That is correct. Now listen carefully. For the next two years, we and the company will do everything we possibly can to assist you, Master. Not only in your games, but also in your daily life. As long as you're able to uphold the act and maintain your rank as 7 star, then we will be complicit in your lie, Master Shinohara. Sweet salvation! Uh, games are all one-on-ones though, aren't they? If someone helps me, it'll be obvious. Do you see the game icon in the center? You've likely received a substantial number of game requests by now. What? 42 already? Scroll down a bit, please. Hmm? Right, you can stop there. We'll choose that one for your first match, scheduled tomorrow morning. Uh, that's really soon. Which will make an impact. You've received a lot of attention for beating the Empress on your first day of school, Master. But at this stage, there will still be those second-guessing your strength. And so, a further example must be made. In addition to that, we can use this game to demonstrate how our assistance will work. And you're sure I'm gonna win? I'm just a one-star, remember? So how? That should be obvious by now. If you want to win, you cheat. What do you mean by cheat? Hacking, of course. 
And how are we supposed to do that? Could you put this earbud in, please? Oh, uh, right now? The company's head of electronics, Kaguya. Hey, bro! How's it going? Mm. I'm Kaguya, the big sis around here. Nice to meet ya. Uh, sure, good evening. Nah, that's way too stiff. Let's try something more snappy, like <gasps> Hito. Mm. All right, he's cool with it. This girl's in a world of her own. As you can tell, Kaguya's social etiquette is somewhat lacking, but her skills more than make up for it. Kaguya will be able to hack her way into your opponent's device, manipulating it to our advantage. So it's quite simple. If you don't draw attention to the hacking, victory is just a matter of keeping up appearances. J just like that? I mean, I know I'm not directly involved, but isn't this sort of wrong? Well, of course it's wrong. Third parties interfering with the game is against the rules. So is accessing someone else's device. It's an instant ban offense, in fact, but that works to our favor. The company would never botch a task this delicate. Amazing, if not terrifying. But do you really want it to end like that? Didn't you have a reason for coming here? A goal? That's right. I do. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes to win. I will be the strongest! Way to go, Hito! <laughs> <laughs> when I hack in and seize control of the game, your victory is pretty much inevitable. Ugh. I... I won! I won! Was that all right, Master? All right? That was unbelievable! You said it'd be easy, but man, that was effortless! Seriously, you're the best! Then you acknowledge our skills? I sure do. I've got total faith. From here on, I'm counting on you. Let's make this thing work. Uh, understood. And if you don't mind me saying, your performance was exquisite. Well done, Master. Now, it's about time you headed to campus. Right. You mind if I call you Shinohara? I'm Fuka Tatara, Two Ways class president. I can answer any questions you have, Shinohara. Like what's best to eat in the cafeteria? I don't think that'll be high on the priority list, Tatara. What? Why wouldn't it be? I'm Yuki Suji. Pleasure. Yeah. I was a little surprised when I learned the class had a tournament just to decide who'd get to show me around. So, are games actually pushed here as much as I've heard they are? Yeah, it's a thing. Headmistress's policy. Aimei has ranked in the top five academies for the last few years running. It's really competitive. But the students like the games, too. More importantly, snack shopping at lunch gets crazy. So if you want any chance of snagging the popular chocolate cornet... Please forgive the untimely interruption, Master. We've received a very favorable game request. The challenger's name is Haru Urasaka. She's a third-year student from District 11. Man, looks like life's about to get real busy from here on out. See why I should be. My victory is all but inevitable. Oh, he's cool, calm, and confident, isn't he? Ah, that line is still coming back to haunt me. Why do I keep coming off like an egotistical monster? And now, please welcome our special guest. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm Sarasa Sayanji. <laughs> that uh -huh. certainly was some amusing, if not indulgent, preamble, huh? Now, who else is ready to see what these two are actually capable of? Oka's ace, Sanasa Sayonji, will be providing live breakdown and analysis for ya! Okay, Yorasaka, go on ahead and name your game right now! Right. The game I choose is... The Anything Goes 100 Meter Race. Sturm and Drang. So, from start to finish, no mode of transportation is off limits, huh? Fun. I'm pretty confident you'll never beat me in a game of pure raw speed. Well, that's a coincidence. Because I'm pretty confident you'll never beat me in a game of anything. And it looks like the claws are coming out! Man, what am I even saying at this point? <laughs> hey, fair warning. I don't just ride my bikes. I like to work on them, too. Whoa! She's bringing out the big guns this time! No bike like this has ever been recorded in Urasaka's battle history! Definitely Urasaka. 
Chewbacca's secret weapon. After all, vehicle performance is the key to this game. A performance boosting ability alone won't be enough to take that bike on. Any sensible player would look to abilities that focus on obstruction. Whatever vehicle Shinohara uses. Oh! Shinohara! Are you seriously gonna race a motorcycle on foot? I know this isn't anything go speed race, but what are you thinking? My heart's gonna explode for sure! Our data shows Urasaka's main ability as remove speed limit, the effect of which allows her to exceed her vehicle's top speed, augmenting this, and her second ability, acceleration. Third in sequence is safety device, an ability that protects both user and systems. If this goes as expected, she won't use her defensive ability, so my interference shouldn't be blocked. It's too late to change him now, so there's no real harm in telling you. I'm using the nullify interference ability. It's a defensive utility that cancels out your opponent's attempts to impede you. I bet that you picked obstructive abilities in all three of your active slots, didn't you? That's really too bad. They're worthless now. Let's get this moving, speed girl. Here we go! We've kept you in suspense long enough! Be all ready for this? Who will reach the finish line first? Don't wait, it'll be over in an instant! Three, two, one! Boom! Seriously, people, give me some credit. You think a seven star like me wouldn't see through that? What just happened? For all three of your abilities, we'll use completely disable. Huh? It's an assist ability that temporarily disables your opponent's defenses. Its utility is context specific, so it rarely gets used, but it's perfect against nullify. Uh, okay, but why use it for all three? At your true level, Master, one level 3 obstructive ability will not be sufficient. Hence the redundancies, the aggregation will compensate. Yeah, but what about the rest of it? Won't I need some abilities on hand to balance out? Oh, wait! Now you get it. With the company on your side, you don't need to worry about things like fair balancing. As long as our external interference is unchecked, we can accomplish whatever we need through hacking. So ultimately, Master, the only real threat you were facing was nullify interference. The first ability I chose was completely disabled, level 7. That made sure my second ability, Force Stop, was entirely unhindered. But in reality, it was Kaguya's hacking that made the bike stop after I restored her access. <laughs> oh, and for the last one, my third choice, that we also activated by hacking, was Safety Device that I used on you. I don't think I could sleep at night if I got you hurt. So where is he? Go, go, Shinohara! I can't believe that worked! The company is amazing! Now that's a seven star for ya! While seeing you embarrassed in public would bring me nothing but joy, I'm at least glad you didn't lose to her. Oh. That honor's mine alone, you hear. Hey, are you trying to tear off my tie or my head? Huh. Hmm. She's so violent. Hey, Miss Himeji? There's no need for the miss, Master. My bad. Could you stop listening in for a while? There's something I gotta do, and I, uh, kinda wanna keep it private. I see. Is that an order? A request. So please? Very well, if that's what you want, Master. It is. Thank you. Right. But do know I'm quite the perceptive maid, Master. If you're to exploit your popularity to pick up girls, then I trust you'll exercise discretion. Like I even do that! I'm kidding. Anyway. I'll disable the monitoring for now. Please proceed with caution, Master. You're ridiculously late. Come on, do you know how hard this place is to find for newbies? It's like a gangster hideout. Honestly, it's a miracle I found it at all. And I came straight away like you asked, didn't I? Oh, it's excuse after excuse with you, isn't it? Your mouth opens and outpours an endless stream of nonsense. Hey, you have no business talking. What happened to that cute, well-mannered princess I met? Uh, cute! Well, I can't afford to leave the real Sarasa a less than perfect reputation, right? So, what's all this Sarasa body double stuff about anyway? Alright. I'll tell you. But this stays between us, okay? Just like the secret you told me. My lips are sealed. The real Sarasa was actually kidnapped. Kidnapped? It was just over a year ago, shortly before I entered Oka Academy. But whoever kidnapped her didn't issue any demands. I was a part of Sarasa's friend group. So while her family waited for leads on the kidnapper, I was asked to take her place. What do you mean when you say friend group? 
Children of the Sayanji family almost never go outside until they get into high school. Teachers and companions are provided for them. Naturally, as a fantastically talented and sweet girl, I was chosen. Better just let that one slide? <laughs> Nobody knew what her real face looked like. The Sayanjis needed someone, and I was happy to help them. I don't know when she'll be returned to us, but until that day comes, I have to protect Sadasa Sayanji's flawless reputation. I'm gonna need your help with doing that, though. Because if word gets out that I'm a fake, then what'll become of the real Sadasa? The situation's significantly worse than I thought. I can see the bind that you're in. You were able to lie about who you were because of the Red Star. That's right. And should you lose, my secret gets out. Whoever holds the Red Star can see the entire record of lies told with it. So then if I ever lose, your lies will be exposed as well as mine. If it gets out that I'm not the true daughter of the Sayanji family, then Aimee's headmistress will have no reason to protect you. She thinks you beat the Empress, but I'm just Rina Akabane. And then, of course, I'd have to leave the island. Hmm? Why would you be worried about leaving? Is staying that important? Yeah, it is. Why? Well, you see, there's someone I'm looking for. A childhood friend of mine I haven't seen in years. But I'm sure she's here on the island. And so, until I find her, getting kicked out is just not an option for me. That means... My only option is to maintain the lie that I'm the strongest there is. You know, I hate to admit it, but as long as you continue to win... My lie and your lie will be protected. Guess we've formed an alliance. <sighs> Shall we exchange IDs so we can stay in contact then? Yeah, I guess. Wait, my name's top trending? What are you talking about? It's been like that since you got here. Ew, what's with this guy? It's all my goddess and she isn't made for losing and stuff. Are all your fans this zealous? I attract a whole spectrum of them, but when you're as talented as I am, some people are bound to be mesmerized. I'm calling you out on that one. Look, it might be best if we act friendly. You're right. I mean, after all, we're allies. Good evening, Master. Welcome home. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh. Aha! So he's alive after all! Why the heck didn't you send me a text last night, you arrogant jerk? Sorry, my bad. Busy schedule, you know. Life of a seven star and all. That's a lie. I was totally passed out. Oh, stop showing off. I just swung by to show you that you hadn't broken me yet. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Who the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, goddess! It's an honor. <sighs> ah, the infamous Seven Star himself. I'm Seiran Kugasaki, the man who will bring you crashing to your knees. Huh? Well, you need something, or...? You usurp the throne of a goddess! And decency demands satisfaction, sir! <laughs> oh yeah? You're here to challenge me to a game, then? Not quite. I'm simply here to demonstrate how far above you I am. If that's your idea of a joke, you need better material. I'll take you on under one condition. Shinohara! Whoever loses the game forfeits the right to challenge the Empress Sarasa Sayonji ever again. <laughs> how dare you! My virtuous goddess is not butter for some asinine bet! Don't like it? Fight someone else. Nobody would blame you for chickening out. Chickening out, you say? Seiran Kugasaki? The five-star leader of the self-made Holy Night Brigade! Kiroto Shinohara, I hereby challenge you to a game two days from now! <laughs> Have it your way. This Sunday, I'll teach you exactly what level you're at, Count Dorkula. Oh. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> oh, good. It is you, Shinohara. Oh? I thought you were someone else for a second there. You say that, but you're the one that looks totally different from normal. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like super sketchy. Ugh. Hey, you didn't accept that challenge for my sake, did you? No? No, of course not. I was just trying to protect my lie is all. You dummy. You don't always have to be so brutally honest, you know. But still, thank you. Oh? Huh? Anyway. You know the situation. For better or worse, our lies are linked together. Let's hurry up and get this strategy meeting over with. Welcome home, Master Shinohara. And welcome to you too, miss. Thank you. Huh? Uh, what the... Uh, what's she doing here? Huh? Himeji, do you know who this really is? Yes, quite intimately. 
I used to serve the Sionji family. Huh? Does that mean... Yes, I'm one of the select few privy to Miss Rina's secret. Ugh. Ah. Uh, well, nice to see you, Yuki. Huh. Indeed. I believe it's been a year since we last met. A year, huh? So, what's up? Have you been good? I suppose. Although I did endure a period of psychological distress. Come this way, please. Yeah, that's right. The real Sarasai was kidnapped a year ago, wasn't she? This is the game that Mr. Kugasaki has requested. The self-made 27-form game. Essentially, you collect cards and compete numerically. Compete numerically? Yes. The game itself is divided into two distinct phases. The first is the collection phase. Players hunt for cards numbered 0 to 19, scattered around District 4, building a hand of 5 from those found. So then we basically just walk around looking for cards? No. You can use public transportation as well. Five cards will be placed at random, and then every five minutes the location of a new card is unveiled. Let me guess. If you go to one of the revealed locations, your device will collect the corresponding card, right? That is correct, Miss Rina. Okay, what happens in phase two? Direct confrontation, the reveal phase. Each player selects one card from their hand, and the card with the higher number wins. This occurs again until both hands have been exhausted. If I understand, the first to claim three points is the winner. True. But before we move on to strategy, there's something you need to know. Huh? There have been many instances of games with a level gap akin to this 5-star versus 1-star match, but there's no record of a 1-star ever winning. Uh, not even one? But Academy Island's been around for 20 years! It's just like Yuki said. Do you remember numerical adjustment, Shinohata? That ability I used during our first game? Yeah, the one that reduced my turn to one-tenth of the time limit. With it, you can mess with numerical values in a game. So even though the largest value possible is 19, with Kugasaki's rank he can increase that to 30. Whoa, 30? It's a rather steep advantage, hence lower ranks can dictate the rules to offset it. But because of my lie, I don't have that option. It's bleak, indeed. Less than a 1% chance of winning. And a 100% chance I'll lose? But we can fix that, yeah? Right. The trick to winning lies within the collection phase. Obstruct your opponent's movements and you can buy yourself time to build a hand that will win even if numerical adjustment is used. If he comes into the reveal phase having amassed a strong hand, then the game's as good as over for you. Kugasaki always uses the emergency mobilization ability as well. Emergency mobilization circumvents the rule on third-party involvement, as those the ability summons also count as a player, each of them permitted one ability. And, Kugasaki leads the self-made Holy Knight Brigade that's over 300 strong. You're telling me he can bring a legion of fanboys into the game? Well, at least you don't have to worry about his third ability. And why is that, exactly? You remember that Indigo Star ability that he used, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah. That flashy move with all the smoke and lightning. Is that the one called Black Wings? Yeah, it must really jive with his style because he's never disabled the effect since he acquired it. Meaning, Kugasaki's ability selection will likely be numerical adjustment, as well as black wings and emergency mobilization. So how would you play this, Sionji? I'd probably rewrite my position using manipulate location coordinates. Tell me about that one. It tricks the device into thinking you're at a card's location, letting you pick up numbers without even moving. That's an actual ability? You can only install it if your five stars are above, though. Another possible strategy would be using the Explore ability to look up all the card locations right from the start. District 4 is so big, that might actually do more to hinder than help. So, Himiji, are there any 1-star abilities available that could be useful to me in this situation? For this game, Display Bug might be appropriate. I see. Make the opponent's device screen glitch out, huh? For Slot 2, the Luck ability might serve to even the odds. The more high-value cards appear near you, the less work you'll have to do. Right, and numerical adjustment in the third. Actually, Master, since the real battle is the collection phase, that might not be necessary. True, but it never hurts to have a backup plan. Very well, then. So, numerical luck and display bug. With what I can use now, that's probably my best strategy. <laughs> Will you tell me why you've been avoiding her? I haven't. In fact, Rena's the one who's been avoiding me. Oh, Rena, huh? Our history kind of trivializes formality. For a time, she was my closest friend. Why the distance, then? I think Rena's trying to hide something from me and the Sionji family, but I don't know what it is. My only wish is that you do what you can to protect her. 
She is a lot more fragile than she seems. Alrighty! The collection phase of the self-made 27 board game starts right now! Why are these things always so intense? Connection established. Cool. Display bug is activated. And thanks to luck ability, the higher numbered cards seem to be nearby. Good. Proceed to 14, it's the closest. Once the next card appears, we'll weigh its value against the 17 to optimize your route. Roger that. Let's go! You know, that 17 isn't exactly close by, right? Not a problem. I've established a nearby bus service. The company to the rescue! Huh? It looks like Kugasaki's already collected the five. It's possible he simply had the good fortune of starting near it, but he likely knows about the display bug by now. I wonder how he'll choose to proceed. <gasps> uh, hey, what's wrong? Well, um, it would appear that Mr. Kugasaki just picked up his second card. Huh? That's weird. The number of active cards is still displaying the same for me. Interesting. He must have picked up one whose number and coordinates hadn't been revealed yet. Wait, does that mean he's using the Explore ability? If he knew the locations from the start, then logically he can snag unrevealed cards. But why would he risk wasting precious time going after unknown values? Huh? <gasps> Did he ditch numerical adjustment? Oh, you have some game sense after all. Kugasaki? You can hear me? How the heck did you get my device ID? The Black Wing's ability is useful for more than just stage effects. I can use it to transmit my voice over vast distances. Ugh, if you're just calling to show off, then I'm hanging up. Consider this a gentleman's warning. Your playstyle is woefully short-sighted. Huh? At this rate, my absolute victory is all but inevitable. <laughs> Tick-tock, Shinohara. Two seconds left. Two seconds? <gasps> The game's only been going for five minutes, right? Wait, five minutes? Hang on, shouldn't another card have been revealed by now? Why isn't any new information showing up yet? I don't understand this. There's been nothing to indicate that Mr. Kukasaki picked up the 10. So why is it showing here? And why has the unvalued second card he acquired disappeared? <sighs> no, that's not it. Not disappeared. It's just had its information revealed. The second card was the 10? Damn it! There wasn't any new info because that was it! That was the new reveal! He's planning to look up the card locations to collect them before they're even displayed! If this keeps up, he'll shut down my ability to gather cards entirely! Uh, but that means... Yeah, he's trying to get 18 of the 20 cards in the collection phase to guarantee victory! Master, we have a problem. The bus Kagi is driving isn't going to make it in time. Huh? Hot rods with markings of the self-made knights have been racing around District 4. The police have been called in to stop them. Huh? Gotta be emergency mobilization. It's all ruined. This completely unravels everything I have planned. I'm afraid we've been outmaneuvered. No, no way. It's not over yet. But what are you going to do now? <sighs> okay. Himeji's got every right to be worried. Even if I take the train to the 17, Kugasaki will probably still get there before me. What now? Oh, Shinohara. What's up? Urasaka? FYI, you can thank Headmistress Ichinose, or whoever it was that secured the business permit for me. Fixing it so that a motorcycle ride counts as public transportation? That woman is shrewd. Anyway, I'm out. Good luck, Shinohara. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Best estimates would place the 17 card on the second or a third floor. Got it. Huh? Are you kidding me? There's no way that's legal! Uh, uh, just a little bit further. Uh, uh. Got it. Uh, uh, uh. collected 18 cards and this game's as good as lost. <clears throat> no, it's too soon to give up. I'm the only player using numerical adjustment here. I just need a third card to turn this around. Not gonna happen, dummy. Uh, 
the only thing you need right now is a trip to the emergency room. You really think I'd stop now? Not until I found her. She always came up with ways of sneaking me out to show me some bright new place. And until I see her again, defeat is not an option. Besides, this isn't just about me, is it? If I lose, your cover as the kidnapped heiress is blown wide open. You and I are in this together, Sionji. Accomplices. No matter what it takes, I'll protect your lie. <laughs> Was not true. Oh. That stuff about Sadasa getting kidnapped, I made all of it up. Uh, wait, what are you saying? I just want to go to a normal school. That was Sadasa's only wish. So I made it look like she was kidnapped and took her to the mainland. You fooled the Sionjis all on your own? That's right. I am a genius, you know. Yeah, but shouldn't you have at least brought Himiji? You in? think I didn't consider that? Two years from now, when Sadasa graduates, the secret's gonna come out. The least I could do was spare Yuki from that mess. You don't have to defend me! You can just say this entire thing was my fault and give up before it's too late. It was my lie that got you into this. You're just a victim. Uh, now it all finally makes sense. <gasps> you wanted to make your friend's dream come true, and you went against the Academy and the Sionjis to do it? Which is, at once, both absolutely insane and extremely awesome. Totally my type. Huh? Oh. Oh. What did you say? Uh. Mm. I'm saying let's keep this act up for a little while longer, okay? Huh. Shinohara. Master! Huh. Are you hurt? Himeji, bring me up to speed, quick. Uh. Of course. Thus far, Mr. Kugasaki has collected 16 cards. Only two remain unclaimed, but their location is yet to be revealed. In that case, it's all but certain I'll end up with two, right? Mm. Then we need to find a way to turn this game around. Wait, hold on. Does that mean you're not giving up? Each and every attempt the company has made to help you has failed. Do you really still think you have a chance of winning this? Of, of course. course. <sighs> Master Shinohara, thank you for respecting my wish. I greatly appreciate it. What do you mean by your wish, Yuki? <laughs> oh, it's nothing to worry about, Rina. All right, I should start brainstorming as well. My master and best friend want to win. And what kind of maid would I be if I didn't help them? Your best friend? I mean, shocks, Yuki. Hmm. Hey, Sionji. Huh? Is there an ability that lets you change the rules of the game? Sure. The most famous example is Rule Breaker, but it's only for people rank six stars or above. Availability is irrelevant. All that really matters is that the ability exists. <sighs> Oh my, you've come up with something super devious, haven't you? Maybe. But to pull it off, I'm gonna need to update the effects of Display Bug. It might take all company resources to do that. But... I'll make sure it's taken care of. In the end, he's just a five-star. If I can't trick him, I've got no business being here. You were able to dethrone my beloved goddess. So naturally, I was expecting great things from you. But no amount of greatness can help a two-card hand win a three-point game. What shall it be, Shinohara? We can laboriously play out this obvious defeat. Or you can simply yield. Guess I have no choice. <sighs> and so, victory's mine. Well, it would appear there's nothing left but for me to announce the winner! There you have it, folks! The winner of the self-made 27 form game is... Time's up. Kugasaki! Just a second, yeah. ref. Hey, Kugasaki. Do you know what conditions need to be met to end the game? Are you mocking me with that question? It's quite clearly to win during the reveal phase. <laughs> That's the condition to win. What I'm talking about is the condition that ends the game. Well, if it's merely to bring the game to an end, either both players must run out of cards. Please work. Or one side claims more rounds and then wins. Really now, stalling the inevitable is so unbecoming. Deus Ex Kagi! <laughs> Dude, you're seriously missing my implication. What? Huh? I am? <laughs> hey! What's 
What's going on? The rule condition is supposed to be if both sides run out of their cards! Maybe it was, but that's not what it says now. Either your memory's playing tricks on you, or somebody's tweaked things a little... You duplicitous scumbag! You used the rule breaker ability, didn't you?! According to the current rules, since I ran out of cards, the reveal phase is now over. The score's an even 0-0. Zero, zero. Don't look so smug, you piece of trash! Alright, let's start this over again, shall we? Alright then! Rich start! But with emergency mobilization giving me an army, the end itself will be the same! Oh man, you've really done it now. What are you talking about? Sorry, pal. I just won. Do what? So you still have a card left. Too bad that since I cast away mine, it'll have zero bearing on the score. You used Rule Breaker to change the rules, remember? You really think I changed the rules, huh? You must have imagined that. What do you mean, imagined it? The only thing I changed was the text that appears on the screen when you check the end condition. Huh? No way! Then the reveal phase... ...is actually not over yet. So then, I choose. Right, your turn. Oh wait, you don't have any cards left. <laughs> there, see? Exactly like I told you. <laughs> With that, the game is mine, Dorkula. <laughs> Outstanding victory, Master Shinohara. You are incredible, truly. How nice to see you, Miss Sly Fox. Come now. Slapping honorifics on a slight doesn't make it sound any less petty, you know. Is there something I can help you with today? Still frosty, I see. As a matter of fact, yes, there is. I have a question for you, Shirayuki. Your master, Hirotoshi Nohara, has secured a respectable four victories thus far. What rank do you think he's achieved from this? Since his position as a foe seven star prohibits him from occurring more, I imagine he's still only a one. <laughs> Wrong. <sighs> Hirotoshi Nohara's actual rank is now that of a two star. Why is that? You remember how the unique stars function, right? When the holder of a unique star loses a game, that star is invariably stripped away from them. Yes. Flashing back to his last game, Shinohara defeated the holder of the Indigo Star, the so-called Phoenix Seiran Kugasaki. As a supposed 7 star, Shinohara's already maxed out. And yet the rules mandate that the Indigo Star Kugasaki held go to the one who defeated him. The standard solution? One of the winner's normal stars is replaced with the unique star. Wait a second. But that's... Indeed. It's just not possible in Shinohara's case. He only holds a colored star. He doesn't have any normal ones. In this unlikely eventuality, the winner is simply given the unique star as supplemental. So Shinohara is now double colored, holding stars both red and indigo. Should he carry on as he has, defeating players with unique stars, he could become an unparalleled all-colored seven star. He's won all four of the games he's played so far, two of them being against the Empress and Phoenix, with the latter being on the merit of his own personal aptitude. And through it all, he's demonstrated exceptional versatility, wit, and imagination. Tell me, were you aware my master had such capabilities when you first brought him to the island? <laughs> Who knows? Let's just say it was obvious he was worth more than his transfer exams indicated. Worth more? Are you trying to use him? I am using him. He's a means of helping me achieve my ambitions after all. Shinohara must already realize that himself. We're using each other. Simple. Shinohara has a reason to stay on the island, and joyously, I have a reason to keep him here. See? Our interests overlap. You're using each other? Still, things may not go this smoothly forever. If he keeps gaining stars, he'll face greater and greater opposition. And then, just where will you be? You needn't worry about that. No matter what happens. My name is Himichi Shirayuki. Until very recently, I was enrolled in Oka Academy in District 3. But due to unforeseen circumstances, I've been transferred to Ame Academy. Uh, uh, I tend to be quite shy around new people and find talking to boys somewhat difficult, so I apologize if I can come off as rude at times. Rest assured, it does not mean I dislike you. I'd be grateful if you could show me some patience. All right, settle down. Before we get to it, I have one more announcement to make. It's about Aimei Academy's traditional campus free-for-all. <laughs> the all-campus elimination battle begins next week. Your participation is compulsory. You'll be expected to engage in mock games using the special trial command. 
Remember, in trial games, stars cannot be exchanged. Also, you're free to challenge whoever you want. Rank restrictions do not apply. However, if you're defeated, you're out. It's a last student standing survival of the fittest contest. The event will be critical in deciding who among you gets to compete in the Inner Academy competition next month. Those who place in the top five will have the privilege of representing AMA Academy. And whoever lasts the longest will also receive a special prize. So give it your best. Here, this is for you, Himeji. Is it okay for me to accept this? After you work so hard to finally obtain a chocolate cornet? Just take it. Consider it a saccharine way of saying thank you for coming through for me in that last match. <gasps> hey, slow down, will ya? You'll give yourself a stomachache going like that. Uh, excuse me. It's so good I could scarcely restrain myself. So I've been thinking, the elimination battle, it represents a rather unique and challenging situation for us. This event works on a principle aptly named State of Conflict. You approach the opponent you want to challenge and make a trial request. The request is automatically accepted, locking off both players' capacity to send or receive more until a winner is decided. That is the State of Conflict. Now do keep in mind this is time constrained. If a State of Conflict persists for longer than 24 hours without a trial, you'll be eliminated. Even though no stars are exchanged in this event, your image is still on the line. With that in mind, we must devise a strategy to ensure you achieve first place. Kinda sounds like just running away would be the best move, doesn't it? Indeed. If you maintain the minimum distance as stipulated, requests won't be accepted. Hiro, you got company. Oh. <laughs> You're Hiroto. <laughs> Am I right? Oh man! She's giving off serious innocent cutie vibes! Like a baby deer! And those ponytails are just... Oh. <gasps> Hello, Hiroto! You ignoring me? When a girl this cute starts talking to you, you should listen, you know? Makes her feel good. Oh, uh, sorry there. Didn't mean to ignore you. You didn't? Then you must have been mesmerized by my looks. That's totally understandable. So, mind telling me who you are? Who, me? I'm Noah, or Noah Akizuki in full. What's up? Don't let the dainty package fool you, I'm actually a third year. Which means I'm your senior. But try not to hold it against me. <laughs> you really are oh so strong, Hiroto. Wait, you want to battle for a chocolate cornet as well? <laughs> yep, an easy thing to do when you're mega mighty super smart and drop dead adorable. <clears throat> so, what do you want? Let's see, what do I want? Uh, well I guess there is one thing I wanted to know. So Spill, are you two like boyfriend and girlfriend or what? You referring to me and Himiji? I think you've got the wrong idea. At least for the time being, we're maintaining a rather wholesome relationship. Huh, okay, I get it. Well, if that's how it is... Fair game! Oh. You're all mine now! Hey, come on, get off me already! Huh? But why though? Don't you want to snuggle up with a little cutie wooty like me? Oh, she smells like heaven! <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Please get to the point, Akizuki. My, what an impatient, bullish boy you are. Alright then, have it your way. It's about the all-campus elimination battle. Libra did a survey on it. Puff piece, who do you want to do a trial with the most kind of thing? And since I'm so strong and as sweet as a strawberry tart, I'm naturally near the top of the list. But you're by far the most popular, Hiroto. Did you know that? Nuh-uh. Hadn't heard a thing about it. Huh. You're not too interested in this, are you? I see. That makes sense. <laughs> well, that was all. <laughs> Okie dokie. Bye-bye, Hiroto. Thanks so much for chit-chatting with little old me. Disarming, isn't she? Noah Akizuki, nicknamed the Little Devil. She's one of only three six-star students here at Aimei. A six-star? Seriously? She's that strong? Yes. Although, the bad feeling she gives me runs deeper than rank. It's something... monstrous. <sighs> Forgive my asking, Master, but is that the type of girl you're into? Huh? Uh... <sighs> Honestly now, talk about a nuisance. In that critical game against Kugasaki, Shiroyuki had to expose herself to the masses to come to your aid as she did. Yet to be supported by a student from another district is unheard of. Transferring her was the only real option to avoid garnering suspicion. Of course, her ability to assist you in the upcoming all-campus elimination battle was a factor too. Do you have any idea how much red tape's involved in pushing through an abrupt student transfer? It came at no small personal cost to yours truly, you know. Tit for tat. 
Now I have to do something for you, right? Very perceptive. One of your few likable qualities, Shinohara. Now listen closely. At present, there are two vexing mysteries unfolding on campus. The first is this. Outside forces are attempting to stick their noses into the upcoming event. They've been setting off alarms here and there since yesterday. Do you have any kind of clue what they're after? It seems you, the Seven Star, are their most likely target. You're in a very enviable position. That's good to know. All right then, what's the second mystery? That's the real issue here. It involves the unique stars you see. Each campus on Academy Island is issued one unique star. Aime had one too. The unique green star, in fact. Had? Yes, it was stolen. We were moving its save location with the intent of using it as a prize in the elimination event. However, it was pilfered in a hack. The green star. We know it has some sort of effect on perception, but the abilities it grants seem to differ greatly depending on the person holding it. So, in the hands of an individual endowed with enough skill to steal it, who knows what it could do? Awfully convenient these things happened at the same time. An overambitious student, maybe? It isn't clear yet if the attacks are connected, but there's a definite possibility it's the same person. I do hate to ask, but could you help us find this culprit? They're likely planning to take advantage of the contest to come after you. So as long as you remain in the game, you need only wait for them to make their move. Of course there's a complication. Whoever they are, the culprit's in possession of a coveted unique star. Aimee's erstwhile green star, which you were intended to win as a prize in the all-campus elimination battle. I'm sure you don't need me to state the obvious necessity here, do you? You're saying I have to win it. <laughs> As such, during this contest you will have three missions. The first of which, expose the identity of the saboteur behind the recent attacks. The second, recover the stolen unique star. And finally, score a decisive victory and assert your position as the strongest on Academy Island. Clear for now. This is gonna be harder than I thought. They chase me wherever I go. The prospect of a consequence-free game against a Seven Star is evidently quite appealing. For the time being, I believe the best course of action is one of inaction. Disable their ability to see the location of other participants, and temporarily block trial requests with a standard device-based jamming program, enabling evasion. In short, keep running away. If we can get through this final lesson, the first day is over. Not much longer now, Master. Yeah. Jammer's not working. But how? Shinohara! I hereby challenge you to a trial game! Is she trolling me? Could this Akizuki girl have seen through our strategy? Shinohara! Have it your way. It's not like I really have a choice, is it? <laughs> Just try to make it worth my time, okay? Ugh. Tatara was crazy tough. No wonder she's president of 2A, the second year's top class. Master, the bathtub is now free to use. You're sure it was okay for me to go first? Of course. We can't just have you go changing back into your maid uniform all sweaty now, can we? Perhaps. However, when you compel me to take a bath, Master, it flavors rather strongly of seasoned perversion. <clears throat> Excuse my saying so. Anyway, now that the first day is over, how are you feeling, Master? <clears throat> Well, I'm at least relieved that the location blocking and device jamming proved effective. But this is an elimination contest. By the end, only the tough ones like Akizuki will be left. Yes, a direct confrontation with that one now seems exponentially more likely. To which end, I have summoned the company's head of electronics to join us. IRL, baby! Rejoice! It's your big sis Kaguya with some fat loot! Kaguya? Oh, in the flesh? <laughs> the draggled babe! <laughs> Impressed? That logo. Is this from the shop that just opened in District 17? Hey Kaguya, what were you doing while we were in serious trouble earlier? Whoa! 
Whoa, now, let's not jump to conclusions. I mean, I was still like totally doing support and programming stuff while waiting in line, you know? Working remotely is a viable practice. I never said otherwise. However, I fail to see why you couldn't have waited for company. Yeah, but if you're not mad, what's up with the sudden pouty face? I'm not pouty. <laughs> hey, are you seeing this, Hino? Isn't she acting like super cutesy? Hey, I'm not acting cute. My bad, Shirayuki. Here, peace offering. Now open up for me and say, ah. Uh, but should I really do that with Master watching? Don't sweat it. That horn dog's probably dying for a good show. Now, here. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you how gorgeous your hair is? Like swoon. Ka Kaguya, PG-13, please. Huh? Oh, yeah. I actually rolled up to explain something to you. See, the programs we have at hand aren't exactly designed with your current dodge and deflect needs in mind. So being the MVP that I am, I wrote a new device ability perfect for neurotic worry warts like you. We just overlap Hiro's location data with Shirayuki's, and any request Hiro receives will be redirected to Shirayuki's device. Basically, she'll be tanking your challengers for you. I call this the scapegoat technique. Oh, oh. This should at least buy you a few days while the noobs pick each other off. If it comes down to it, there is a built-in bail, too. But that's a ripcord you can only yank once. Yeah, but are you sure you're okay with all of this, Himeji? If this act helps you in even the smallest of ways, I would be more than happy to do it. Oh, cool. Right. I guess there's no problem then. Well, that certainly makes things easier. Alright, now to do my part. And run away! <sighs> Oh. 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 Who's there? Huh? Master, we have trouble. I just received a transmission from Kaguya. According to her data, the all-campus elimination battle survivors are closing in on your location. There's 200 of them. Huh? How's that possible? Your coordinates were leaked to everyone simultaneously. Master, you have to get out of there. Got it. <laughs> Impossible! There wasn't any signal there a second ago! My fancy seeing you here, Hirato. Akizuki, but how? <sighs> Master, run! You really shouldn't. I know you can hardly help wanting to have your way with a cutie like me, but using force is just so wrong. Akizuki, let go of me? Let go? What are you talking about? I'm stuck beneath you, silly. Completely helpless, because you pushed me down and got on top of me. Can't run away now, can you, Mr. Big Shot? <sighs> Send a request! Quickly! Uh, uh, okay! That's really too bad. Another second or two and we could have ignited a massive new scandal about the Deviant Seven Star. Oh well, at least I achieved my primary goal. I guess that'll have to be enough. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Hirato. <laughs> Wait, Akizuki! What's this primary goal? Huh? I'm just a cute ditzy girl, silly. So what would I know? <laughs> Sorry I wasn't able to be of much help. Not much help? Are you kidding me? If you hadn't shown up, I'd have been done for. You're far too generous, Master, but thank you. Still, I wonder what she was after. Oh, what is this? It's a cutlet. I put my heart and soul as a maid into it. May it help you be a cut above the rest. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Give me one moment to prepare it. What's wrong? There isn't any cutlet sauce in the fridge. Oh yeah, I think we might have used the last of it. There's still some Worcestershire sauce in there. Sorry, you and I are both on team cutlet sauce. My pride will not allow me to compromise on that. I'll have to go to the store. Why not let me go instead? You cannot. Such a thing would tarnish my reputation. And just like that, Himeji went out. Something's wrong. Himeji? Oh, hey there, Hirato. <sighs> Having a good night? You. What the hell are you playing at now? 
Huh? What do you mean? I was only calling to say I bumped into that little maid friend of yours. Look, if you've so much as touched her... Jeez, you have such a short temper. Tell you what, why don't I stick her on? Your precious, fragile little porcelain doll of a maid. Himeji? It's me, Master. I beg your pardon. I fear I won't be able to return home tonight. What are you saying? Did she do something? Forgive me, I'm not able to say. As you know, in order to exempt you from an onslaught of trial requests, you and I engaged into a temporary state of conflict today, one we must yet resolve. <laughs> That's right. Yes, well... About that. I regret to inform you I'm no longer able to lose that game tomorrow. Uh. I regret to say, I won't be able to lose that game tomorrow. My deepest apologies. You can punish me any way you wish afterwards. But until then, please, don't try to win this one, Master. <laughs> Perfectly safe, you see? And you doubted me. Anyways, gotta go! Bye-bye! Uh. So that's how it is. The little devil was behind everything. You've heard of her? Who hasn't? I mean, a six-star with that personality? She's probably one of the most famous people at Aimei. <laughs> but doing this? Taking Yuki? That's not cute at all. Still, it was all well executed. Although, who's to say she's the mastermind? There could be someone else. Subversion does seem to be her thing. <laughs> she's careful with what she says. Makes her hard to read. Obfuscating the truth is the little devil's specialty, but all that aside, I don't see how we're gonna win without Yuki. I'm not exactly well-versed at cheating. You're telling me. I don't even know how to contact the company. So what- I'm home! <laughs> <laughs> Kaguya? <laughs> yep, Kaguya's my name, perhaps. Maybe. Hmm? What's Hirobo oh. doing chilling in my place? <laughs> nice timing. Uh... Sh 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 Shiro Yuki's gone missing?! Hiro, did you try and force yourself on her?! I'd never! She didn't run away! Akizuki probably ambushed her! She was kidnapped! Oh, the humanity! And who's she? Looks shady. Uh, well, I'm... Shinohara's ally. Uh, yeah, she's a friend I can trust. The interrogation stops there. It's real nice to meet you. Okay, uh, hoodie uh, girl! Uh, I guess you can call me that. Alright, moving on. It's time for a plan to rescue Himeji. Here's the details on the game Shirayuki requested. The Scalene Love Triangle. Basically, it's a kind of card game. Contestants start off with 10 cards, which they then play one at a time. Each card has a relative value, and whoever plays the higher one wins them both as a reward. Once all the starting cards have been played, whoever's managed to claim the most wins. TLDR, get more cards than your opponent. If it's a draw, the cards stay on the board and whoever wins the next round gets to take the lot. So with both players having 10 cards apiece and with one bonus card set aside, that amounts to 21 cards in total and 21 does not split evenly. Which means you need the bigger half. If you end the game with at least 11 cards, you win. Now, let me give you a breakdown on the she skills- She put this together cards. already? How smart is she? So, uh, what values do the cards have anyway? <laughs> I actually just finished compiling that. And boom! Wait, why is the commoner card so underpowered? The commoners? They have some cool utility skills the others don't have to make up for their value weakness. Look at this. Are those the sets? Yep, but which one you get given is randomized. Set A looks like it's stronger. It is. Whoever starts off with set B has a huge handicap right off the bat. Mm. Uh, uh, what is it? A message just sent from Himeji's device. A list of her chosen abilities? Why is she sharing those with us? Well, whatever the reason, it certainly makes planning easier. She'll definitely get set A with probability fluctuation, eliminating the randomness in her favor. Sadly, that means the possibility of you getting set B is now a certainty. Force control? What's that one about? It's an insidious ability that lets you take control of your opponent's moves. <laughs> Yuki will be able to hijack your first three turns to completely demolish your opening strategy. Your strongest cards will be wasted before you can even use them, and she'll gain a significant early lead. After that, the real game begins. Man, this sounds like an absolute nightmare. For real? Yuki's seriously going for the win here. <laughs> that, my friends, is where we come in. If you can't win alone, then don't. That is our brand of justice! 
First, as a woman blessed by electronics, your big sis Kaga, you hear, will hack into the system. Then our flawless, magnanimous leader, Shinayuki, will think up a plan. Or at least she would have if she hadn't been kidnapped. It's hopeless. Shinayuki's always the one with the strategies. A body can't move without a brain to guide it. We've got one. Uh, right here. Huh? I can do it. When it comes to strategizing, I'm at least as experienced as Yuki. You would do that for us? Yeah, of course. But first I want to hear about the skills of the commoner cards. Oh yeah, right, right, right. On it. For a card skill to activate, it has to remain on the board when a turn ends. So essentially, the skills only activate when there's a draw. Whoa, those are some pretty powerful effects. Yeah, but they're all pretty much useless unless your opponent plays a commoner or an assassin. Yeah, well, with skills or without them, we're still gonna get crushed at the start. Those first three turns are an unnegotiable mess that'll screw everything up for us. But they also clue us into what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? There are two commoner skills that Yuki will definitely want rid of first. Explosive Growth, which awards you cards equal to the turn number, and Trojan Horse, which can upend the game. Right. Makes sense. But Force Control lasts for three turns. Won't she go after Great Revolution too? Simple Extraction will allow her to destroy it. Ah, uh, if that's the case. Opening turn, Himeji will play her Simple Extraction commoner, then make me play my Assassin, leading to a draw. Skill activated, she removes my Trojan Horse card. The next turn, she'll play a knight to get rid of the explosive growth commoner, then a royalty card to take my knight. Not good. By the time those three turns are up, she'll have all but eviscerated you. Mm -mm. Counting the bonus card, we'll already be seven cards behind before we can make our first real move. By which point she'll only be four cards away from victory, and the cards I would have left by turn four will be way too weak to catch up! You're not wrong there. So, if we can't win by closing the gap, then maybe we can win by reversing it. Huh? In the abilities for six stars and up, there's one with the name Enchant. It lets you imbue an item with a bonus effect. In theory, you could take a regular commoner from your hand and give it a brand new skill like exchange all collected cards. Huh. Tell me, Kaguya. Huh? Can you make an ability like the one she just said? One I can actually use. Some cheat skill that would make it look like I used Enchant to turn the tide of the game? Mm, that's a tough one. Maybe I could ask one of the other members to... No, I can't. They might be monitoring communications. Look, you wandering in here tonight was a massive stroke of luck. I need you, Kaguya. All right, fine. I'm not sure how I'll do it. But as the company's head of electronics, I'll figure something out. It'll be the cheapest exploit a cheater like you could ask for. I owe you big time. Take care of our girl, and we're good. I'm borrowing the server room. <laughs> I hope she finishes in time. Don't worry. She may appear ditzy, but she's a grade-A genius. Duly noted. Now make sure you load your abilities before the game tomorrow, okay? The go-to's not certain yet, so for now just equip as best you can. Mm. Hey, what's wrong? Imeji told me that I shouldn't try to win this game. I know I can't just lose, but something about this is really bothering me. <sighs> so, thanks for waiting up, Shinohara. Okay, just to reiterate this, it's late. And the only reason I'm staying here is because it's way past my curfew. If I went back at this hour, I'd get into a whole heap of trouble, resulting in more surveillance on me. And then I couldn't help you tomorrow. All right, I get it already. It's not like I'd kick someone out in the middle of the night anyway. Until Yuki gets back safely, I can't take any risks that would- I said I get it! Jeez, if you're that nervous, go sleep in a different room. Look, it's not like I'm thrilled about this. I just really don't want to be alone tonight, okay? Oh. Oh. I'll turn off the lights. Yeah, okay. Hey, you still awake? You can't get to sleep either? Hmm, guess not. Oh, I'm glad. Honestly, I don't usually go to bed as early as this, and I keep worrying about Yuki. Do you want to chat until you get tired? I guess. How about a quiz? Like, fill in the stuff you don't know about the island. The system and abilities and such. Oh, uh, Himeji kind of caught me up on all that. That sounds like her. I could test you to see how much you've retained. No need. Kaguya can dig it up for me. You can't always just rely on other people, you know. With what's going on, you have to see that. It never hurts to be prepared, after all. Oh yeah, right. Mm. 
Shinohara, hold out your hand. Here. Huh? What is this? It's a present, or a card that allows you to install a rare ability. Oh. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could buy them. Not all of them are official. Just consider it a sort of good luck charm, all right? A good luck charm, huh? Thank you. Yeah. If you get a chance to use it, you better not hesitate. I'm trusting you to save her. Hmm. If anyone can, it's you. You cheat us if you were born for it. And besides, you're my accomplice, aren't you? Not even Noah Akizuki can get the best of someone like you. Yeah, you're right. Next up, transfer student turned academy representative, Hiroto Shinohara will now address you. How's it going? My name's Hiroto Shinohara, your new 7 star. For the next two years, one person and one person alone will reign over you as your lord and master. And that's me. It's okay. You can do this. You're so cute and clever, remember? There's no way you could lose to a lying imposter like him. Never. Class is over at Oka, too. That brat should be sneaking onto AMA grounds any time now. Yo, huh? Hiro! Hmm? The program's passed its final checks and is ready to use. Go nuts! Thank you, Kagaya. Could it be? <laughs> what a coinkydink! Fancy seeing you two here. Coinkydink? You have no shame. Aww, don't be such a meanie! <laughs> anyway, you're about to play a trial with your mate friend, aren't you? I'd love to sit in and watch. Suit yourself. I was hoping we'd have some kind of audience. <laughs> Everything's ready to go. Before we start, I'd like to thank you for accommodating such a sudden and selfish request. Mm -hmm. As I explained yesterday, I cannot under any circumstances lose this trial, even if you're my opponent. No, rather it's because you're my opponent that I mustn't lose here. As such, I'll give it my all. First of all, I use Probability Fluctuation. This lets me bypass the randomized draw and take set A for myself. Right. And apologies in advance. This next part may prove a little galling. I have activated Forced Control. Oh! Hirato, your mate friend's gonna have her way with you for three whole turns! Just as I expected. I'll start with my exploits as soon as Force Control runs out. Great revolution! Now then, next turn. <sighs> and now for my third turn. <laughs> Weird. I still have the Trojan Horse Commoner, the Knight, and the Assassin left in my hand. And the way she just wasted the powerful undefeated hero card like that. She's going way too easy on me. Carelessness? No, it's more like baiting. Hang on. Could this whole trial be one big trap? So what? Defeat by way of victory? I win and something bad happens to me? It can't be. Himeji would never throw me to the wolves like that. Think. She must have given me some kind of sign. Something that would escape anyone's notice but mine. Don't try to win this one, Master. She explicitly said she can't lose, but she's obviously not trying to win. There are 21 cards in total. The 10 cards in each player's hand, plus one bonus card. It's an odd number as to prevent a draw. Odd? That's it! That's what you were going for! Thanks for waiting, Himeji. I'll take my fourth turn now. I'll start by activating the Afterthought ability. Great, then I'll play this. I knew it! <gasps> Apologies. 
apologies. I was just surprised that you'd make a silly mistake like that. Well then, I'm about to shock you even more. Hey, what are you doing? Are you playing bad on purpose? Knock that off! Simmer down. If you shut up, you might learn something. <laughs> This is the end, right? That's right. Himeji's collected 15 cards. She has a queen and an assassin left in her hand. All I'm holding is a commoner. If you play the assassin, you win the game. It seems so. If that's assassin, it'll mean utter defeat for me. All of Sarasa and Kageya's help will have been wasted, and I'll lose everything. But my trust in Himeji is absolute. This isn't a battle. It's a performance designed to trick a facetious audience of one. Right? Before the all-campus elimination battle, we came up with our own secret phrase. Yes, yes my, my master. master. I know that's the queen, Himeji. Are you certain of that? Tell you what, if it's not, I'll share dozens of humiliating secrets with you. That's unfortunate, then. I sincerely would have liked to hear them. All of your embarrassing secrets. <laughs> When it's a commoner versus a queen, the queen wins. However, this is where my Trojan horse comes into play. Yes, as per the effect, half of the cards I have collected transfer over to you, Master. And now I have collected a total of ten with none left in my hand. My final card goes into my collection, which means I also have a total of ten. When you told me not to win, you weren't telling me to lose. You were asking me to force a draw, right? <laughs> a draw, huh? Indeed. The state of conflict is resolved, but neither of us lost the trial. So, as the rules dictate, both of us remain in the contest. I see. Oh my, kinda tired all of a sudden. Excuse me. <laughs> Wait! Don't you know girls hate it when you grab them like that? You owe me an explanation. About what? Don't play dumb. This wasn't random. You've been planning to tear me down from the top for a while now, haven't you? <laughs> what do you mean? I was just trying to- You can't to... talk your way out of this. I already know, Akizuki. You installed spying on my device when you found me last night. <laughs> data handled by the device gets leaked, and it can record and monitor stuff too! It's mega-invasive! <sighs> so that's why you cut off all communication and said you couldn't come home? Yes. Until this time tomorrow, you can't quit the elimination battle, run away from it, or throw it! And as long as you avoid all of that, the program will delete automatically. Do you understand, maid friend? The spy program came with a contagious subroutine. It was set up so that if the owner of the device lost a game, it would move to the winners. That's horrifying! Thanks, Himeji! Nice save! I've had the chance to back up last night's access logs. You incorrectly thought Display Bug would mask it. But in the hands of Headmistress Ichinose, the source of the hack can be located. Why you? Why you? Why is it you? <gasps> Why? 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 It makes no sense! I worked so hard to set all of this up! How could you possibly still win? Where's the justice? The fairness? You used lies and tricks to push your way to the front of the line! What do you mean by that? Becoming a seventh star as soon as you got to Academy Island? There's no way! I really, really can't stand people who cheat! You remember what I told you before about the survey for the elimination battle? How you were listed so much higher than the rest of us? Uh, yeah? You know... There was a poll just like that at the closing ceremony. They asked, who do you think will be the school's ace? And it was me! I was number one! But the second you transferred in, I became nothing! Everyone turned their backs on me and flocked to you, the shiny new thing! I spent years working my fingers to the bone, trying to build myself up! And then you show up out of nowhere and I lose it all? Just like that? 
false alarm. No evidence of our shenanigans after all, folks. But it's true. She worked so hard, and I just cheated. So I thought the least I could do was take something from you. And without your indispensable maid friend, you wouldn't be able to fight so well. So I came up with a plan that would have the two of you face each other. Man. And the trouble I went through to set it up. I even had to make a deal with the dev- <laughs> I think we've discovered our mastermind. Akizuki's talented. But no student would be able to pull all this together without some serious help. Well, your plans hit a brick wall, so why not tell us what you know? <laughs> what are you talking about? You think this is the end? Then I'll just finally roll over and take it? <sighs> I'm way too cute and clever to throw myself into something like this without a backup plan for when things go sideways. See, the ability I installed on the maid's device works in two stages. When, for any reason, the main skill spying deactivates, another skill surreptitiously activates in the background. Another? Yeah. It's called Destructive Impulse. It smashes all of the data on that device into itty-bitty bits and broken little bites. It's a real killer ability. All I have to do is push the activation button here, and your maid friend's device turns into a glorified paperweight. <laughs> <laughs> and then, tragically, your poor little maid will have to leave Academy Island. What about you? If people find out that you made use of an illegal ability, the whole island will turn against you. You'll be ruined. And what am I supposed to do, huh? Back down? <gasps> Uh, PBG! Hey, Hiroto. What say you and I play a game together? Not a dumb trial. An actual game with stars on the line. Uh, uh, but it's not gonna be all fair and square this time. I'm sick of that. No one else really does it anyway. <laughs> I'm just like that devil now. Uh, I went ahead and signed my soul away. Now, I can't go back anymore. That devil? Who the hell does she mean? No, one thing at a time. So, if you want me to return your little maid friend here, then just be a good boy and lose to me, okay? Hand over your stars right now and throw yourself at my feet. Kneel before me in front of everybody, declaring I'm the one and only true Seven Star and all your sins will be forgiven! Doesn't that sound right? Because I know that everything about you is a lie! Something's seriously wrong! She knows too much, but how? All I can think of is... the stolen green star that enhances perception! <laughs> Don't think I'm gonna let you cheap out with a pitiful draw this time. We'll fight one last decisive battle, yeah? Tabletop treasure hunts the game. Sound good? Then let's get this started, shall we? Thirty minutes since I accepted the game. While not long, it's been time enough to call someone over and to secure my connection with Kaguya against nasty surprises. Mm. Yoho! Can you see me? The game Akizuki challenged me to is Tabletop Treasure Hunt. It's your cute friend Noah, did you miss me? <laughs> I can't win, I can't lose, and this time a draw is clearly not in the cards. I've been backed into a corner. What's worse is, I don't even understand the rules. Oh, ignoring me, huh? Well, have it your way. I'll ask a question then. Is your partner hiding somewhere on or below the third floor? A question? <laughs> yeah, you know.
know, Hiro, a question. It's a command you can use once per turn. You get to ask your opponent a simple yes or no question. Word of advice, you better not lie. It's an instant forfeit, so be honest. In that case, since my partner isn't on any of those floors, the answer is no. Okay, then now we enter the move phase. This is another command you can use once every turn. It lets you move up to three spaces. Spaces? I see. So each room in the building counts as a space. You can change floors by taking the stairs on either side, too. So, Akizuki and I are in the hall by home economics, and our respective partners have been concealed in rooms unbeknownst to us. What's more, each room has an electronic lock requiring some kind of command to open. Because, of course they do. Since you're new to this, I think I'll go easy on you just this once. I'll move one space over to the right, and end my turn there. Okay, I'm up. You seriously fell for that? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, girls and their secrets, you know. My first ability is actually double action, which allows me to take two whole turns in a row. So here's another question. Is your partner instead hiding somewhere on or above the fifth floor? What kind of asshole ability is that? Hey, this is totally on the level. I just tweaked a couple conditions is all. Uh, no. Hooray! Now I know she's up on the fourth floor, don't I? I think I'll shuffle one space right and call it good. I really want to see you squirm, Hiroto, so I'm going to take this nice and slow. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Good. Hey, it's me. <laughs> Looking fly, Sanji. <laughs> Perfect disguise, huh? Thanks for this. If you hadn't come to help out, this game would have been over before I even accepted it. Hey, it's no big deal. After all, if you go down, I go down with you. Hope you're comfy. I think you're going to be locked in there for a while. That's fine by me. But I certainly wouldn't say no to a little more wiggle room. Or a nice warm cozy blanket. Yeah, these cold April nights, huh? Sorry, try to hang in there. I'll be fine. Just hurry up and win this. Let's get Yuki out of here quick. Right, and let's recap the rules. To win, you have to find the treasure that's been hidden by your opponent. The treasure is your partner, so naturally for you, that's me. And for the devil girl, it's Yuki. The field of play for this game is Aimee's largest building, Building A. Spaces correspond to rooms on each floor as represented by this 6x8 grid map. There are four commands you can use during your turn. The first two are the ones the devil girl showed off. Question and move. The third is answer, which you use when you know where the opponent's partner is. If you're right, the game ends then and there. But in order to use answer, the player has to be standing in front of the classroom. Also, each player has three answer points. Which, of course, means you can only afford to get it wrong twice. Retreat is the tricky one of the bunch. It's the command that lets you move your partner around freely. Yeah, it resets their position, allowing them to relocate to a new space on the playing grid. But it burns up one answer point to use it. So basically, those three answer points are the currency of both your offense and defense. Speaking of defense, you can move your partner even if they're located. But if you do, that's another answer point gone. It's no wonder the little devil activated double action on us. Getting to go twice as fast, that's a big edge in a game like this. She can pressure me into using my answers up. Make me waste them all trying to protect myself. That double action ability of hers is way too overpowered! Yeah, I bet it's some illegal exploit she got from the guy behind the curtain. Wonderful. Probably means her other abilities are gonna suck as well. Alright then. I think that about does it for the rules. So what's the strategy here? If you win this one, then Yuki will have to leave the island. But if you lose, it's bye-bye Shinohata. A tricky situation, but unresourceful. <gasps> Wait, does that mean you... It's not 100% yet. <sighs> it first struck me in your game with Kukasaki. But you're actually a bona fide genius when it comes to thinking of plans under pressure, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you. But you know you're never gonna win if you play fair, not against the Devil Girl. Then, let it be an eye for an eye and a cheat for a cheat. Think you can beat us playing dirty, do ya? You're gonna regret that. Player 2's first turn. I posed a question to Akizuki and worked out that Himeji's on the third floor below. Then I moved three spaces. After that, Akizuki took her second real turn. With her double action, she narrowed Sayonji's position down to one of two spots, but only moved two spaces. Bye bye now, Hirota! Alright, here goes turn number two. <clears throat> Kagaya, we good? Nah, it ain't happening. Noah's been a real killjoy and used the area barrier ability on the whole school. Uh, really? Mm, but you know, there is 
that device sensor program I wrote for you at the start of the elimination battle? Yeah, of course. Since there's no other students around, I could use it to find Himeji easily. Actually, no, sorry. You need to connect to an outside server for that. Man, this anti-interference thing is killing me! Uh, but area barrier is an external defense ability. So we can still use cheats inside it, right? Yeah, totes. Though Academy Island's devices are pretty high spec, you'd need a serious brainiac other than your bespectacled big sis there with you to modify one locally. It's possible then. You think someone as smart as Akizuki could pull off some tech tampering like that? Maybe. The specs for the modded programs are living rent-free in my gray matter, but without an operator to give them to, they're not gonna do us much good. True. But you're forgetting one thing, Kagaya. I happen to have a genius beyond even Akizuki's level with me. Second floor, fourth space from the right. That's the classroom she's been hiding Yuki in. Hoodie girl for the win! 24 hour job in 10 minutes? Chills, man, literal chills! Ah, oh, just let me be you, girl! Thank you, thank you! Time's almost up, Hiroto. I'm getting kind of tired waiting here. Okay then, Akizuki, here's a question. Oh, how exciting! The room you hid Himeji in is. Classroom 1K, right? That would be a yes. Hey, Hiroto. Are you cheating again? Now how could I do that? I got all tangled up in your trap without even the mercy of a single decent ability, didn't I? Yeah, but still! Time to move. Oh look, I'm only two spots away from 1k. That's like basically check. Your degeneracy knows no bounds, does it? Guess I'll have to stop going easy on you. Question time! Your partner's hiding in... Classroom 2i, yeah? Well, she's there, right? <sighs> Yes. There, see? You're not the only one who's good at guessing, are you? And I'll move six spaces in one go. <sighs> she instantly turned it around. Next, I'll use up one of my answer points to make our glum maid friend move her frilly butt to a different room. Boo-hoo, so close. <laughs> Shinohara, we've just lost Yuki's device signal. Yeah, she probably suspected we were cheating and blocked it out. But it made Akizuki use up one of her precious few answer points. Not a bad outcome in my book. Master Shino Hara? Oh. Please forgive me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I had to cut off access to my device. Yeah, kind of figured as much. Is it okay for us to be talking? Yes, so long as I'm not revealing anything disadvantageous to Miss Akizuki, it's permissible. Well, I guess you do have to move around on foot after all. It would be convenient if I could simply warp from room to room. But as I can't, I've been given a frustratingly convoluted route to throw you off. Traipsing up and down all these stairs. It's tiring work. Just try not to push yourself too hard. <sighs> Forecast says it's gonna get real cold tonight after 10 p.m. Might want to keep the room warm so you don't catch a cold. That's very considerate, Master. Thank you. Oh. Excuse me, I must be going. Already past 8, huh? Himeji's not done moving yet, which means Akizuki's still on her third turn. So I guess we're going to be stuck on hold a while. The Devil Girl's lost one answer point, but she still got two left. We just lost our device sensor, and we can't rely on questions to narrow it down. It'd take way too much time. Yeah, right. In a situation like this, I'd normally bank on outwitting my opponent with misdirection and deduction. Any reason we can't do that now? Akizuki's seen through every play I've made since the all-campus elimination battle started. It's the Green Star's effect. Predict movement. With her skills, if the little devil got a hold of an ability like that... Yeah, it's not good. With her level of insight, she's practically reading my mind. Although, she has made two kind of crucial mistakes. Mistakes? Yeah. The first was in my trial against Himeji, and the second actually happened just now, with you being able to pinpoint her location. You're right. I'm trying to figure out what was different about those ploys in particular. Someone else's ideas were mixed in with them. They weren't my plans alone. So what? You think the little devil's restricted to only reading your thoughts, Shinohara? I'm saying that if she is, then it's something to use. I mean, it follows that she'd place Himeji somewhere she believes I wouldn't think to look. But then... She's failing to account for what I think. After moving to the fourth floor, I activated retreat. I'm using up an answer point to move my partner. And now, a question. Is Himeji in classrooms 3E? 3J or 3L? Yes. But there's no way! How'd you... How'd you know? I fixed it so there couldn't be any outside interference or tricks! How could you figure that out on the first try? She's got a point. 
Sionji's scarily good at this. Okay, so right now you're in front of classroom 1M, which means we can rule out the second floor, and logically the first one too. Huh? Why the first floor? It's a bad move. If she was on the first floor, you could find her with one question. The little devil's not gonna take a risk like that, so we can eliminate the fourth floor too. Ah, I see. Because you're there, right? You've seen how meticulous she is when it comes to details. No doubt she considered that if she moved Team AG to this floor, I would hear it and pass the info on to you. In that case, we can discount the third floor and the left side of the fifth? <sighs> Correct. The right-hand side of the third floor is above you, while the left side's below me. And I've got the left side of the fifth floor just overhead. Alright. So with the space is still on the fifth floor and all of the sixth, twelve left. Nope, we can narrow it down even further. In a game like this one, it's good strategy to make sure your opponent's always one space shy of their objective. Meaning, she's likely hidden in the classroom that's three plus one spaces away from you. The music room on the fifth floor is too close, so that's out, leaving us with three choices. A magician never reveals his secrets, you know? Fine then, whatever. If the logical approach doesn't work against you, then I'll just make the last hiding spot random. What? Random? Don't tell me you've gotten that desperate. Oh, that's not it at all. Don't confuse designed mayhem for a desperate mess, Hiroto. That's when Akizuki took her fourth turn. Asking two questions, she was able to work out that Sionji's new hiding spot was somewhere on the second floor. Talk about a disaster. Randomness. It completely strikes tactical interplay from the equation. Yeah, that was honestly the most detrimental move she could have made. Hey, Shinohara, is it still doable? Is what still doable? Like, is there really any way you can still find Yuki? Gotcha, that's what you were getting at. Don't worry about it. I've already got a backup plan lined up. Huh? A backup plan? You mean you've seriously got a way to find Yuki? Yep. It was my third option, in case the exploits in Green Star Subversion came to nothing. Ending the game's no biggie. I've got that part figured out. <sighs> Honestly, it's what comes after that still has me thinking. Like, what's the best win state for a situation like the... Huh? What? I'm just a little surprised is all. It's hard to believe you've already thought something up. Don't be too impressed. There's still room for things to go wrong. Take, for instance, Akizuki's list of known abilities. We only know two. Double action and area barrier. Hey, Sionji, do me a favor and check the time. Huh? Looks like it's currently 8.52. Though wouldn't it have been quicker to check that on your own device? Yeah, but I wanted you to see it too. Time will be a factor. For the next few turns, I intend to stretch things out as much as I can until Akizuki and I use our second answer points and the data resets. And that'll achieve what? Actually, if I can pull that off, we should instantly be able to find out where Himeji's hiding. So I carried on, dragging things out, waiting until the very last second to end my turns. When Akizuki was up, I'd make small talk to prolong hers as well. We called check on each other, and by the fifth turn, both of us had used our second retreat. Now, we each had one answer point left. <laughs> Nicely done, Hiroto. I never thought that you'd be such a match for me on my A-game. I'm all giddy. We might really be made for each other after all. It's been a while since I received a compliment as insincere as that. Uh, I mean it. In another time, another place, things could have been so different. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the here and now, we're enemies. Yeah. But this war of ours is just about over. Really? All right. Go ahead and end this if you can, Mr. Confident. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Before this turn is over, I'm gonna know Himeji's location. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. You're just relying on blind luck at this point. <laughs> if that's what you think, then shut up and watch. Please, notice it. Hmm. <gasps> oh. <gasps> So, that's it. Thank you. Classroom 3G. That's the place you're hiding Himeji now, isn't it? <laughs> By the way, that isn't a question. Because I already know the answer is yes. And since I'm close, I can go and assert that this turn. Going random backfired. No way! How did you know that? How could you? Earlier, when Himeji and I briefly passed each other in the hallway, I also passed a little message on to her. Message? I didn't hear you say anything! Oh, I definitely did. I told her it was supposed to get chilly tonight after 10 p.m. and to warm the room to avoid getting cold. Warm the room to avoid getting cold? <gasps> the AC! Yep. I basically told her to crank up the thermostat at 10 to tip me off to her location. But the sound of the air conditioning going doesn't even carry that far! No, it doesn't. 
However, in most schools, AC use can reliably be monitored from the staff room. Wait, you don't mean... The place I've been hiding my partner is down in the staff room. Looks like it's game over. My answer? Noah Akizuki's partner, Himeji, is right here! I've been waiting for you. Welcome, Master. Yeah. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I win, Hirata. What? You heard. All this time, I've just been waiting for you to finally use up your third answer point. Here goes. Alter Fate ability activated! Strike Hirato's final answer from history! Uh, Alter Fate? Did she just completely erase my answer? <laughs> you have no idea how long I've waited to see that miserable look upon your face! Himeji! Oh. <laughs> Here I am. And now, it's time to end this game for real. Answer. Hirato's partner is hiding inside this room. <laughs> so you're Hirato's partner, huh? <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. That's right. You've never seen me dressed up like this before, have you? Wait, you're a girl? Bingo. You and I have actually crossed paths a bunch of times. Though, if you don't mind me saying, I never really took you for the reckless, foaming-at-the-mouth revenge type. Why, you... <laughs> so, is my face ringing any bells now? The Empress Sarasa Sayonji. But why are you here? Let's call it academic curiosity. This sounded fun, so I figured I should have a look-see. But I needn't have bothered. Turns out that you were too weak to beat that smug jerk after all. What are you saying? Do you have any idea what just happened here? I made a deal with the devil, stole the green star, beat the seven star, subverted the system of this institution, became the strongest person on the island, and you call me weak? Nobody's denying the fact that you won the tabletop treasure hunt, but I think you might want to double check who it is you actually defeated. Yep, that's how it is, Akizuki. Unfortunately for you, it wasn't me who lost the game. But that's not possible! Oh, it is. I had a surprise ability of my own. Goes by the name Pinch Hitter. Pinch Hitter? You probably haven't heard of it. It's a special ability that rarely sees much use. Pinch Hitter can be executed from outside the confines of an active game. And if it gets approval, the user is permitted to sub in for the player of their choosing. So, while you were making your way down here, I used it to take my master's place. There, see? The player you just beat wasn't me, it was Himeji. I'll say that again. You took out Himeji, which wasn't exactly a wise thing to do. Huh? <laughs> Catching on yet? Remember the abilities you activated? Your spying and destructive impulse? Like a parasite jumping host, they were designed to transfer over to the winner's device in the event that he ever lost a game. Naturally, with this result, they transferred from Himeji's device to yours. And so any hold you still had over her has been severed. In the end, I didn't lose the game, and your cursed abilities have infected you instead. There really couldn't have been a more perfect outcome, could there? Well, are you finally ready to tell us how this whole mess came about, Akizuki? This was the most important thing in the world to me. Precious. I haven't breathed a word of it to anyone, but there's no sense holding back now. After all, this may be the last chance I get. Last chance? I actually am kind of smart, you know? I got an incredible score on my first intellectual development test. One of the best ever, they said. I was even headhunted for grade school here on the island. I'd say that qualifies as more than kind of smart. Although, it's pretty much only the most elite candidates that get accepted into grade school here. You see, intelligence and talent aren't enough. You need to be from a good family lineage. There was zero chance a normal girl like me was ever going to fit into a pack that pedigreed. Even though I tried, I could never stave off the feelings of inadequacy. I thought that if I could just stop being normal, that if I could be someone exceptional instead, I'd belong. So I worked as hard as I possibly could. I made it into the top class in my first year, and in my second, I became a five-star. Suddenly, they were saying it'd be me who'd win the all-campus elimination battle and become Aimee's ace. Me! And I wanted it so badly I could cry. At last, something to show for all the effort I'd put in. Something to show that I was special. But you took that away from me, Hiroto. All of it. You destroyed me in an instant. So then, is that why you went and made a deal with this devil guy? 
The devil's name is Mikado Kurahashi, headmaster of District 12 Seiji Academy. He told me to cheat, to do whatever I could to steal stars from you. He said if I pulled it off, he'd make all of my dreams come true. I was so, so scared. Everything was falling apart on me right when it should have been coming together. Didn't you ever think of standing up to him? This Kurahashi guy. How could I do that? I can't stand up to a monster like him. I can't do anything. You'd be best off just forgetting about me. This is probably the last day I'll ever get to go to school here. The last time I'll ever see you. I know it's not much, but I'm truly sorry for everything I've done to you. All of it. No way. Not like this. And just who said you could give up, Akizuki? But I can't! There's nothing I can do to fix it! I mean, who in their right mind could have taken on that devil? <laughs> yeah, that's your problem. Too busy looking down to see the answer right in front of you. Did you forget? I'm the strongest on the island. <laughs> District 12 headmaster or not, it doesn't matter. A loser like that? Is no match for me. You don't... don't... Dry your eyes. Whatever the game may be, I'll win it. All you need to know is you've been saved. <sighs> well, good morning, everyone. You know, something wonderful happened yesterday. <laughs> An incompetent dictator was finally exposed as a scumbag he is. Despite his distinguished bearing, he was a manipulative con man whose empire collapsed in a single evening. I'm actually still a little groggy from a night of celebratory drinking. So bear with me if today's address is a bit shaky. Now, as the all-campus elimination battle has reached its terminus, allow me to present to you our two remaining survivors. First up, the seven-star Hirato Shinohara. Although that's kind of a given seeing as how anything less would make him a total laughingstock. Weirdly threatening addendum, but okay. Next is the little devil, the six-star Noah Akizuki. Both are confirmed for the District Elimination Team, but only one of them can be entitled Aimee's Ace. A final confrontation between the Six Star and the Seven. Get ready for an amazing- Oh, Headmistress, may I please say something? I... uh... I don't wanna... I don't wanna fight against Hiroto. And would you care to tell us why exactly not? I think most people have already heard this by now. But in my desire to escape feeling less than, I made some reprehensible choices. I used illegal methods. And I tried to steal stars from Hiroto. For that, I'm sorry. Ultimately, my attempts came to nothing anyway. But while everyone else was competing in good faith, my conduct was wholly unacceptable. So, it only makes sense that I withdraw- That's enough, Akizuki. Uh, is something wrong, Hiroto? You've got absolutely no reason to withdraw. <sighs> it was all that sleazebag Kurahashi's fault. I didn't lose anything in the end. Well, yeah, but nobody's gonna forgive me for what I've done! You think? Then you might want to take a look at this. What is that? It's a survey of AMA students. Libra carried it out right after the stream ended. Just take a look for yourself. A good 99.5% of the students here actually took your side. Which means the consensus of AMA Academy is that you're not at fault. <laughs> Honestly. And you think people don't pay attention to you? I mean, even our Empress was singing your praises. They... what? Look, Akizuki. You got carried away for a bit, that's all. The truth is, you'd already become special. All by yourself. With that said, I have an announcement to make. The winner of the elimination contest, and AMA Academy's rightful ace, is you. Sorry, but the only one who's withdrawing here is me. But, don't you want to win? Why would I need to? I'm already the strongest person on the island, right? Uh, yeah, but... Sorry, it's done. I just submitted the official player withdrawal request. So for all those out there who bet money on me, sucks to be you. There. Now you've got something to prove that you're special. Alright. If that's what you want, I'll accept the position of Ace. I'll become the Ace this Academy deserves. One that can face even you, Hirato. So please, lend me your support and I'll make all of you proud! That's Shinohara. <laughs> this year's inter-academy battle might actually be fun with him around. Here they are! The flawless high-spec maid, Shirayuki Himeji! Way to go, Himeji! Back up to four stars in one day! One of Eimei's trio of six stars, the golden demon, Nanase Asamiya! Next, the six-star student council president with second sight, Shinji Enomoto! 
You know him as the highest ranked on Academy Island, seven star Hirato Shinohara, and finally, Aimee's new ace, the little devil, six star Noah Akizuki. These are the five who will represent us in the May Inter Academy battle! Not a bad outcome, all things considered. You can say that again. I'm just glad the little devil didn't get kicked off the island. Still, though, as an Oka student, I can't be too happy about it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not like she was let off without any penalties. As compensation for all the trouble she caused, she forked over the green star. You got the green too? So that makes you what in reality? A triple-colored three star? Yep, bingo. I'm still a ways off from being a real seven star. But if I keep on moving towards that goal, I'll find her. So, when do I get to know where you're dragging me on my precious day off? Right now. We're here. Uh, what's this all about, Sionji? Huh? What do you mean? It's exactly what it looks like. Listen, this store sells some awesome stuff, like the card I gave you the other night. No kidding. So this is where you got that pinch hitter, huh? This is the place, all right? But to get you in, you have to satisfy their weird entry requirement. Yeah, but this? Look, I mentioned it, didn't I? That I need your help getting in somewhere? If anything, you should consider it an honor, even if it is just for a while. You get to be my lover, or whatever you would call it. Whoa. I did give her a heads up that I'd be swinging by with some company. Anyone back there? Hey, welcome! Wait, Lily? What are you doing here? Lily? Oh, oh yeah. She can't use her other names. So, hey, Lily, bud. I hope you haven't forgotten my policy. The one stipulating that I'll only do business with people I like? No, of course not. And since you also know I choose who I like based on whether they follow the rules, that must mean this guy's your boyfriend, right? Yep, that's right. His name is she... I mean, Hito. Looks cool, doesn't he? Please don't mind me. I'm really just tagging along is all. Oh, I'll mind, bub. My lily bud's been out here riding solo for as long as I've known her. And now she struts on in to show me her cool new boyfriend? I know the game. You must be one heck of a wild young hot rod, huh? I might just die of jealousy. Although, not much spark in the plug. Are you two even really going out? Huh? huh? I mean, if you are, then you should at least be holding hands. In front of you? It's not like I'm asking you to kiss on the spot or do anything sus. You think I could do that with someone there watching, get yeah, dummy? Hey, come on, Lily. <sighs> Sionji. Uh, what, what do you want, Shinohara? You gonna start teasing me too? Would you calm down? All she's asking us to do is hold hands. So let's just get it over with already. You seem eager. Almost like you can't wait to get your mitts on me. Don't start that! It's only embarrassing because you're overthinking it! Uh, Lily? Uh... This is just a handshake. Huh? No, our hands were totally touching! That counts! How could it not? <laughs> Alright, I buy it! What you two obviously lack in confidence, you more than make up for in chemistry. I hereby recognize you as a couple. What? Really? You do? You sure you're okay with that? All we did was shake hands, you know? Shut up, Hito! <laughs> of course! I've always had a soft spot for Lily, and get up aside, you're really starting to grow on me. So we're good. You pass. I'll sell you whatever ability you're after. I wasn't expecting to see so many rare abilities in one place. Oh, come on. You can't seriously be that doe-eyed, can you? These are things you need to know. I guess it's lucky that I'm around to show you, huh? <laughs> welcome home, Master. And welcome again, Rina. Oh, hey there. I trust you had an enjoyable date? D -d date It wasn't a date! I just asked him to come shopping with me, that's all! And yet, you shopped at a store that only admits couples. Wait, how do you know about that? Well, they don't call her a high-spec maid for nothing. I've been wanting to thank you for your help during the all-campus elimination battle. To that end, I will do my utmost to serve you today. Hey, you do your best every day, and we appreciate it. You've got nothing to make up to us. But, if it helps, I wouldn't say no to one of your delicious home-cooked meals. <laughs> Consider it done. Dinner is ready whenever your appetite permits. Or would you prefer a soothing bath first? Oh yeah, that's an idea. After all that walking, we could probably do with a wash. Now that you mention it, I am feeling a little grody. Splendid. And I would be more than happy to help by scrubbing your backs at the same time. Huh? huh? The... the same, same time? time? Whoa, now, back up. The same time? What does that mean he'd see me in the buff? He'd be in swimsuits, naturally. Given your pathological proclivity for flaunting daring beachside bikinis every summer, I don't imagine that will be too much of a problem. Wow, that was some ice cold shade right there. Besides, the mansion comes equipped with a custom extra-large bath for the Seven Star. Yeah, but like, wearing a swimsuit in the bath? Isn't that even more kinky? Hmm. 
If that's the case, would you prefer to be nude? I'm sure I could accommodate that if necessary. Come on! That's not what I meant and you know it! Wait a minute, are you secretly mad at us for going shopping without you? No way. Himeji always gets hung up on stuff like this. It's a pattern. Well, I didn't exactly bring my bathing suit. Ah. Oh, right, Yuki, you win. <laughs> Very good. Now let's all enjoy a bath together. <sighs> that feels heavenly. Oh. Stop it! Who said you could look yet? Oh. Mm -hmm. Apologies for the delay, Master. Please, just hold on a moment. What? What's happening to me? All I can hear is the sound of the shower pattering. And all I can see is the painting of Mount Fuji on the wall. But my heart's galloping like crazy! Well then, I think it's time. How's the temperature? It's just flat. Uh... Say something. It's weird with you there silently staring at me. That looks good on you. Rina, could you kindly stop flirting with Master? It's unbecoming. On this day, a super elite VIP, my personal maid, and I climbed on into a bath together. Master! We have that meeting now, the one with the other Inter Academy battle members. Hmm. Yeah, we should get going. Oh, Hirato! I'm beginning to think there's some destiny going on here with how much we're running into each other. Does it count as destiny when the encounter was prearranged? <laughs> oh, come on! I know that made you happy! Akizuki, I know you have exchanged device IDs, but a software connection is not nearly the same as a preordained kinship. Man, frock blocked by Shirayuki. But you know what? Your tacit territoriality just makes me like you all the more! <laughs> Would you please let go with me? Oh, <laughs> gee, not a chance! By the way, you're in the same class as our other two Academy Battle team members, aren't you, Akizuki? Yep, I know them both. They aren't quite at the same level as yours truly, Aimei's one and only Super Ace. But the Student Council Praz and Mia are a really popular pair. Yeah, seems like it. With their instant memorization skills and extremely fast reflexes, even the folks in my class can't stop going on about them. But I've also heard they don't exactly get along, that right? Uh, yeah, guess that's true. They were childhood friends, but now it's more like they're just stuck together. Hey, uh, Earth to Shinji! Can you hear me? No, I've got a loudmouth idiot standing next to me, so I'm practically deaf. I wouldn't have to shout if you'd stop being a jerk! They swear up and down that they hate each other, but they're never apart, so every time you see them... You're really pissing me off! They're always right at each other's throats. They're a total liability! So commences the first strategy meeting for the upcoming May Inter-Academy Battle. Thank you all for coming today. Now, perhaps we should begin with last week's promo video. Sounds good! I can get on board with that! Yeah, let's give it a look-see! Well, that sucked, even for a teaser. But it's clearly a domination game with an emphasis on area conquest. <sighs> I agree with your conclusion. Though your language could use some work transfer. I have a lot of respect for you, so let's keep it civil. Say, Himeji, they've already released the basic rules, haven't they? Yes. It's a large-scale game adhering to operational regulations, and it allows for up to 100 players. Area steal to reconquer all loss. Going by the initialism Astral for short. The game will last from Monday, May 9th until Friday, May 13th. Each day has one period from 9 until noon, and a second period from 2 until 5. That's 10 split over 5 days. The competition will take place in District Zero, the special development district at the center of the island. Our game field will be divided into 1 million spaces. Key points known as bases will be scattered randomly. These bases will of course be capturable. Two captures make a line, three make a polygon. All the spaces within these connected points become a part of the owner's team's area and will change to the associated color. Every hour the bases will release special usable skills hereafter referred to as spells. The game also uses what is known as a freeze time system, meaning essentially that after you use a spell you cannot perform another action for a short duration. The length of freeze time is calculated from the movement value specifically attributed to each player. 
There are five player positions you can assume in Astral, but no overlap of roles is permitted within a team. To win, you must either dominate all the areas or destroy all the other teams. However, if neither of these conditions is met, victory goes to the team with the largest occupied area when the time runs out. Now moving on to the loss conditions. Each player possesses life points, and if all of those are lost, the player is eliminated. Players can have a maximum of 5 life points. These reset at the end of each period. If all team members are eliminated, or if a team loses all of their spaces, that team is eliminated. During the Inter-Academy battle, another game entitled MTCG will be held simultaneously. The top prize is a wild card which serves as an invitation to Astral. The player who secures this is able to join any team of their choosing as a sixth member, allowing for an element of unpredictability. The three most valuable pieces of information we should be focusing on are areas, player positions, and movement values. Interesting. Hey Shiryuki, is there any way for us to see what the movement values are? If you open the Purpose Made app released a few days ago, it should be listed on your profile. There are 25 levels overall and the smaller your number, the better. Movement values are like a player's general rating. They're calculated using stuff like game and trial records. Of course, for me, that means... Three? That's crazy! Talk about a top-tier rating, Shino! Good job, Seven Star! Yeah, thank you. Hang on, Shino? Hmm, just a little nickname for you. No good? After the things I've been called, that's pretty tame. Then yes, good. Naturally, my movement value is a lie. My real number's not three. It's 19. Kageya bugged the screen to display something a little more fitting. Now... I'd like us to decide on a general plan of action. There are two key avenues of strategy in Astral. You either win by expanding your area, or you make the other teams lose. However, since spells are required to fight, you have to expand your region of control regardless. Plainly stated, both objectives are inextricably intertwined. That leads us to the next topic. Team makeup, and deciding who takes what position. Here's the role breakdowns. Getting assigned the right position here is everything. The wrong designation could expose me in a heartbeat. Basically, if I don't get commander, it's all over. For everyone else, that massive movement restriction could be crippling. But for me, it's a role that conveniently renders my base rank redundant for the purpose of mobility, helping me avoid suspicion. I can hide my own low movement value behind the commander's worse one. Any other role would be catastrophic for me. It'd be obvious that my stats aren't what I say they are. Plus, if I get Commander, I can use its info abilities as a smokescreen for company-fed information. That'd give me a considerable advantage. Let's see... I'm thinking Soldier's probably my best fit. I've got great natural reflexes and visual acuity, so acting as our offensive vanguard works for me. Then I think I'll be the spy. That one's perfect for me. Sneaking around and secretly setting up traps is my specialty. Alright, it's looking good. We're almost in the clear. Next, I'll nab the commander position, and then Himeji can take the guardian one. So, I'll take... Commander. I wish to be the commander. You want it too, right, Shinohara? I do. But just why are you after it? That's obvious. If we lack a competent commander, victory in Astral is an impossibility. If that's your reasoning, then I'm the clear choice here. No, you aren't. See, the commander's movement value is fixed at 25. You have a lower value than I do, so you would be more disadvantaged by the handicap. Also, duties of the commander involve intel gathering, analysis, and coordination. These are all specialties of mine. Do you get that, transfer student? The only clear choice here is me, not you. Stop being so stubborn, Shinji! Shino can use insane, unique star abilities you can't. He's the highest ranked player on the island, and honestly, I really don't want to be stuck taking orders from you. Personal preferences have nothing to do with it. This is just about what's most appropriate. Think. You have to deceive your enemies and your allies. You have to make every last one of them believe in the reputation you've created. If you don't, this team falls apart at the seams, and all your lies will be laid bare. Yo, Enomoto. Quite a forward way of addressing your senior, but what is it? Commander can trade places with someone once per game. So how about you let me take it first? And if my performance fails to meet your standards, I'll surrender the position to you without complaint. Curious. I could counter by offering the same deal in reverse, but... I'll accept, on the condition that you take out three enemy commanders by the end of the third day. Fail in that task, and you'll hand over the position to me. Wait, Mr. Inomoto, don't you think that condition would be somewhat exploitable? You could easily sabotage his progress just by refusing to cooperate with him. It's Shirayuki Himeji, right? Your foresight is commendable, but it appears that you're forgetting something. <sighs> forgetting something? My motive. As Aimei Academy Student Council President, my only real ambition here is to win. See, in the annual Academy rankings, 
Aimee's been stuck in fifth place for years. I'd like to see our status elevated. With seven star Shinohara here, we have a good chance of doing that this year. As such, I would do absolutely nothing to hinder him. Okay, good enough for me. You have my word. If I can't pull this off, I'll give the commander's role to you. And I'll talk properly for the rest of my life. Hello? Uh, Shinohara? Oh good. If you hadn't answered, I don't know what I would have done. What's up? You sound kind of upset. Of course I am. We're in serious trouble. Trouble? How so? It's Sarasa. And I'm not talking about me or the original. A third Sarasa scientist just revealed herself! Uh... Huh? How are you all doing? This is the Empress speaking. What do you think she's trying to pull with this? Don't know, but I get the buzz around her. She could be your twin. Apparently, they've taken to calling her a doppelganger. <laughs> I hope you're watching, fake me, because this message is for you. You know the name you stole from me, Sadasa Sayanji? I want it back. So how about we play a game? A game? The setting will be the upcoming contest in Astral. And the condition to win, defeat Hiroto Shinohara. Huh? <laughs> Whoever beats him gets to be the real Sadasa Sayanji going forward. If I win, you surrender your Sadasa Sayanji account to me, no questions asked. If you win, you get to carry on being the much-loved, much-adored Empress. And should she know how to win, then I'll submit to whatever justice he feels is fair. I would suggest you also consider that I'm pretty much rubbing your skin right now. And if you refuse, these clothes are gonna start to feel unbearably restrictive. Ah! Who could resist a show like that? Their empress being so naughty. And who could really say if it's me or you? <laughs> I sincerely hope you make the right choice. Ah! I'm gonna rip her head off! Hey now, let's just take it easy. Good. All right, Kurahashi has something to do with this. Yeah, right. Kurahashi has to know that I helped you fight against Akizuki in the all-campus elimination battle. He could have figured out that we're on the same side. It wouldn't take much. Then I guess he's coming after us both this time. Huh? Good grief. Rotten scumbag. Please help us, Kagaya! I'm begging you! So, let me get this straight. You need to crush it as the commander so your comrades won't realize you're a complete fraud while bumping off three team leaders and preparing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a mega-dangerous doppelganger, right? Pretty much. You ever been told that you're a drama magnet? Also, he must be victorious in Astral. Members of teams who play sixth or lower all have one star taken away from them. If I lose one star, I'm done. Mm -hmm. What's more, a new rule's just been announced by way of Libra. Mm -hmm. It involves a voting system. All students on the island will be tasked with voting for the academy they believe will win. And those support ratings will have some kind of effect on the player's movement values? It does, but that only takes effect in the last half. In the first half, it's positions and abilities that matter. Mm -hmm. Well, the company can defo take care of the position side of things, and I can patch the retrieved data through to you in real time. How's that sound, dude? Yeah. As to the rest, we ought to consider which abilities to equip. Right. In my first slot, I'll be going with the Indigo Star's ability, Black Wings. In the second, I'll use the Green Star's Predict Movement. And for my third, I'm still thinking. What about you, Himeji? <sighs> Something I've been saving for a special occasion. Special, huh? Yes. An assistant utility that allows players to swap an ability with each other. It's called Replacement. I'll need to have the company procure it for me given its exorbitant price tag. Though, I'm sure we'll get our money's worth out of it. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Sounds like AMA Academy is all ready to go too then. Yeah, <clears throat> nothing to do now, but wait. Still, this whole thing is kind of depressing. Huh? The whole Oka team, they just keep staring at me with stars in their eyes. Thought you would be used to that by now. But I'll be around them non-stop during the event. The only me time I'll get is when I'm asleep. And I won't get to talk to you till it's done. Oh? I mean, not that I'm desperate yeah. to do that or anything. I just won't have anyone I can drop the act around and let loose with for a while. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Did you hear me say anything? <laughs> you better not lose, Sionji. Huh. <laughs> what self-respecting Empress would even dream of it? Uh, fair point. I'm rooting for you. Good night. Yeah, good night. Hey, what's up? Yeah, it's me. I was hoping you'd help me with something.
This can't be the right place, can it? Good morning, everybody! I'm Libra's own Susan on Cassidy! The skies are looking clear and the temperature's starting to rise! And right now, we're gonna play a game that's so hot, you can get burned just by watching it! Hey guys, cause things are about to get sparkly! Feast your eyes on our pioneering augmented reality playing field! <laughs> this is... striking. Isn't this like super high resolution? Unreal. Astral initiating. Teams from all academies, stand by your designated starting points. Alright. Game on. See that? Right there? Oh. <laughs> that emblem marks our preliminary base. <laughs> now, to the left, a neutral base. We'll have to seize control of it to expand our area. Shall we go take it, Commander? Yeah. <laughs> it almost sounds like we're about to go do something reprehensible, doesn't it? <laughs> what? No, it's only a base. All right, we're in range of the neutral base. Understood. Proceeding. Occupy. <laughs> Once you use the Occupy command, freeze time takes effect, rendering all your other actions unusable. Then when the timer runs out, the space is occupied. Whoa. So, Imeji, your movement is a 9, right? Yes, and since the freeze time counter displayed 90 seconds on activation, occupying must require 10 times your movement value. That could hinder rate of expansion. No, the capture delay is the least of it. Losing abilities is the real problem. Think about it. If you're attacked in battle whilst on cooldown, you're essentially helpless. Then, we should test out the standard freeze time. Oh, me! I'd be more than happy to try it out! <laughs> How about numerical adjustment? I can increase your interest in me by a factor of a trillion! I imagine that falls outside of device scope. <laughs> okay, so the freeze time is 6 seconds. And given that my movement value is also a 6, I think it's safe to assume that they're correlated. Even that modest of a number would be a major handicap in the middle of a fight. Yeah, but then Hirata would like totally have to come rescue me. <laughs> There's one more thing you should all be aware of. When you're in your team's area, looks like your base movement value drops by two. So, the greater our occupied area, the greater our range of optimal mobility. Hmm, that sounds right to me. <laughs> there might actually be more to him than just hype and hot air after all. Alright, I've ran a search on the space around us. Knowing where the bases are should make strategizing a little easier. Then I think it's high time we got this show on the road. Yeah. Our nearest targets are to the north and the east. East would be our best option. As I see it, base placement isn't random. Logic dictates they be spaced out equidistantly, for the entertainment factor. We can extrapolate from the positions we know of. Given our western starting point, it stands to reason that east would be the most efficient path of area expansion. Seems so. Now, we should keep in mind the spell's base's release in set intervals. See, there's a bit of a fuss with them. Spells first go into the team slot submenu. To use one, you have to move it to a personal ability slot. So try to keep track of what you're using. Mm hmm But we can probably just pick whatever to start off. So better hurry, because I'm picking now. <gasps> hey, come on, that's not fair! Leave some for me! Hey, how long do you suppose freeze time lasts oh. for spells? I'm about to find that out! I'll try taking a swipe at you, Shinji. Oh, Nanase, you are not swinging a blade at me. Oh, yeah? Because I bet you'd actually love getting murdered by a cute girl. Well, I can't quite dispute your basic thesis. Your vector leaves a lot to be desired. No, I am gonna kill you. Huh? Hey, Akizuki, where's Himeji? <gasps> what? Huh? Oh. Huh? Uh. Hi, guess who? Himeji, that you? Uh, <gasps> yes. I was trying out a spell, one rather fittingly named Conceal. The freeze time it's displaying is 18 seconds. That's twice my movement. Oh, wow. No kidding. Master, are you okay? Sorry, have I done something wrong? No, I'm the one in the wrong. <laughs> what part of bad vector don't you get? Do I need to grab you a dictionary? Well, well. Hiroto Shinohara. Curious. 
You're an obliging nemesis, I must say. Slithering on out in front of the waiting acts. Look, I'm not here for you, you vampire wannabe. Grandstand all you want, Seven Star. My team from Ottawa will humble you soon enough. Retribution is at hand. <laughs> Ottawa's over in District 8. Mr. Kugasaki leads their team. It's made up of members of his self-made Holy Knight Brigade. The zealotry Mr. Kugasaki inspires is impressive. I believe his team will be one of our greatest threats. And who are the others? Well, District 7, they're Shinra High School. They have a particularly hostile school culture. Last year, they placed in third. Their star player is Mr. Toya Kirigaya. He's a six-star embodiment of the Maxim. The ends justify the means. Goes by Absolute Monarch. He's a special breed, that one. His modus operandi is to pulverize his foe with an onslaught of violent tactics. I know of several people who simply quit and left the island after they played him. Seriously? Speaking of, that girl over there is trouble too. Sinri Kururugi from District 16, the leader of Suyuri Girls Academy. She's an absolute monster. Should you ever cross paths with her, just turn around and run. Okay, what for? Her special ability is beyond nefarious. It's called One-Shot Kill. If the conditions are met, the ability can fell any opponent in but a single sweep. With her hellish nature, she's earned the infernal moniker of Demon Maiden. <sighs> Thank you kindly for the compliment. Hmm? Oh. Although, don't you think your delivery's a little off? Words get awfully muffled behind one's back. Hmm? Crap, crap, crap! Why has this chick got a sword? I've heard about you too. The upjumped seven star with a reality transcending ability, granting you a winning strategy against any opponent. You graduated from an American college at five and endured inhumane training to imbue you with superhuman skill. Or so they say. I what? Where's that information coming from? A Libra Media article, where else? Damn it, Kazumi. Know this it doesn't matter how strong you are, Suyuri will win. <laughs> Talk about a collection of second-rate players. <laughs> Those three aside, the player we have to be most on guard against is obviously that doppelganger. Owing to the scandal with the recently ousted Mikado Kurahashi, Seijo's been prevented from participating, allowing her to somehow snatch their spot. Whoever she is, she's clearly unhinged. Picking a fight with the Empress and robing you in, we do well to be wary. <sighs> Thank, Thank you for the meal. meal. Now, let's talk who's rooming with who. I mean, obviously uh, me and Hirato's a given. <laughs> whatever. Except for not sharing with Nanase. I don't have much of a preference. Sure sounds like a preference to me. What, I'm not good enough? Blondes don't do it for you the same as silvers or reds, jerkface? Exactly what are you trying to imply? I see, but I fear it's already been decided that Master and I are staying in the same room. And if Akizuki insists on joining us, would that not then leave you two together? Hang on, what? If you think I'm gonna bunk up with Shinji, you're out of your mind! Got that right. The way she tosses and turns, I'd never get to sleep. Hey, that was like way back in grade school! You guys shared a room together when you were in grade school? Scandalous! Come on, Hirato! Let's get you in bed with your Noah's Eyes body pillow! Hey, if anyone's providing him turn-down service tonight, it'll be his mate! Let me set the record straight for you idiots! Uh -huh. The only option for boys and girls... ...is separate rooms! Oh, oh damn. Must have dozed off. Huh? A blanket? You actually a nice guy, Inomoto? Now I should take a bath. Uh, mm. oh. Huh? Oh, if that's how it is, it'll have to use my secret power. Here. Take it. Just don't go jumping. See ya. Guess you could if you want. Um, sorry if that was a bit of a weird question to ask. I just don't want to risk offending anybody on my first day. You're a cautious one, aren't you? Do you mind if I ask what you're doing here? Doing? What, do you mean like my raison de terre? Raison? <laughs> Maybe not quite that deep. 
Look, this place has been booked for a private event. You must be a middle schooler, right? You're a bit too young to play. Oh, um, you know, I kind of already am playing. My sister works for Libra Media, and she thought it would be good for me if I participated in the MTCG. See? Huh? A room key? MTCG? Isn't that the optional game that's being held at the same time as Astral? You okay getting back to your room alone? Mm. Yeah, but... Huh? Oh, hey. Your eye's red. Mm. It's a colored con... That is to say, it's the mark of the Chosen One. Just some cool Destiny stuff, you know? There, you see? Heterochromia. Impressed? <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed. Really? You are? Yeah! Sweet! <laughs> Did I mention my right eye's also magical? It has the power to see into both the past and the future. And right now it's letting me see that you're a real special person too, mister. <laughs> uh, sounds like a pretty overactive eye. See you later. Hey, hang on! Please, mister, can you come play with me for a little bit? You already gave it a name? <gasps> yes, yes, yes! You're like seriously the best! You think? Hmm? Voila, your loyal familiar. I can have it! Thank you so much, mister! <sighs> Oof, sleepy. <sighs> oh, hey, easy! Come on, 415. 415. Huh? There you go. Uh, huh? Huh. <sighs> you have seriously got to eat better than this. There is a buffet, you know. I want to try it. All right, then try it. But it comfy. Huh? Hey, mister. Can you go down and get me some dinner, please? Oh, well, I guess I've come this far. On the second day of the competition, we finally ran into another team as we made our way east. I'm the Ibera Academy lead, Kanade Yuikawa. How's about you and I form an alliance? Uh, what? Look, friend, truth is, we'd be perfectly satisfied just making it to the top five. The easier time we have of doing that, the better. You saw the temporary alliance command, right? It's a mutual non-hostility agreement. No invading each other's areas. You can set a penalty for if anyone breaks it. <laughs> This guy, what's his game? Mia? Oh. <gasps> yeah? Masasa Mia? Nanase, why? Well, uh, that's cause he, uh... Look, I'll explain later! <laughs> hey, wait! Oh dear, what a shame. <laughs> Negotiations are over. Oh well. <sighs> I can't believe this. I better go help her out. Nanase, don't just swing at him! I know what I'm doing! Stop blocking my line of sight! Or you could, like, you know, aim properly. Uh. Why did you open fire on them, Nanase? Because that guy back there... Save it. Do you think you get some kind of pass just because we beat them? Did you even weigh up the odds? Consider what might have happened to you before you charged into an enemy area? Hey, come on, man. That's enough. It was the same last year. Uncoordinated nonsense makes us easy pickings for a lesser team. We aren't here for fun. And I refuse to let your blatant stupidity drag us all down! Why? I... I thought you would... Huh? Speak up, will you? Shut up! <laughs> stupid idiot! Don't ever talk to me again! Oh. Hey! Mia, yeah, wait! Miss Asamiya! She know how to... Give it to me straight. Am I the bad guy here? What you said wasn't wrong. Although... That was not the way to say it. I see. Our teamwork's a total mess. What am I gonna do? Are you filming something for the others again? Uh -huh. Oh, welcome back! Checked out that base. It's clear. Wanna split up the spells that just dropped before we go take it? Sounds good. Dips on Sword Flash. 
Huh? Huh? It's a battle lock, but we're not in a fight! I wouldn't be so sure. But it's some kind of trap? <laughs> hey! Easy! <laughs> Why are you... What the hell, man? <laughs> hey, are all you boys and girls out there ready for the... Hey there. Are you boys and girls ready for the real fun to begin? This footage is from the end of day two. For some reason it hasn't been archived on Libra. But it's spread among the students all the same. I see. That does explain the weird mood today. Guess that means Sionji isn't the only person the doppelganger can impersonate. Impossible! Uh -oh. What we're seeing uh -oh. right now is unprecedented! Wait, am I crazy or is that a different image? For that matter, why does Kazumi sound so out of it? Hmm. First, we need to figure out how this doppelganger thing works. Mm -hmm. I have been wondering, what is she? Well, she bursts into the scene, guns blazing, claiming to be the true Empress. But it looks like in reality, she can assume the appearance of anyone she wants in Astral. What? Then she could just transform herself into any one of us and strike? <laughs> <laughs> Truly, preventative measures will be crucial to us going forward. So you're saying, don't give her the opportunity to body snatch us, right? There's a couple things we can do. But the most important is that we keep each other in sight. To that end, we should be traveling in groups of no fewer than two. That clear? Yes, reasonable. Providing no one goes carelessly running off by themselves, that should work out. <laughs> uh... Uh, no! Inferno strikes! Oh, lost again! Hey, it's 2 a.m. Hey, don't you have to go to school in the morning or something? Uh, why would I? If I went outside, I'd have to talk to dull strangers and stuff. So I'd rather just stay in and enjoy myself. You don't have a problem talking to me. Yeah, but that isn't the same. You're special, mister, and I like you. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm not a pillow. I really should get going. It's me, your accomplice. Oh, uh, give me ten minutes. What? Ten minutes? That's way too long. Fine, five, five minutes. Just wait there. Out here in the hall? Come in. Okay. Hey, it's just a room. Quit looking around so much. Hmm? Right. Oh, that doesn't mean you should stare at me instead! Then where am I supposed to look? Why not out there? At all the lovely glittering lights, pretty, aren't they? Can you imagine the headlines if anyone saw me here? Passionate love between seven-star transfer student and genius princess exposed. Ew! But, but passionate love? Don't be such a dummy! Anyone with half a brain knows that I'm way out of your league! Do you mind if I at least sit down? I actually came here to talk to you. It's about the doppelganger. <sighs> That's not surprising. Everything is about her these days. It's honestly kind of exhausting. Having to watch someone hijack your appearance to get attention. It doesn't help that she's such a charismatic diva. You'd think there'd be more of an outcry over identity theft. Society's weird. They've already taken to calling her Miss Hundred Faces. It's bad. People are gonna develop trust issues real fast over this. Some teams might even self-destruct out of suspicion. Really wish I could disagree with that. But I know for a fact my own team's a prime candidate for implosion. It's rough, but then... So is having one day to take out two more commanders, under imminent threat of losing my leadership. Uh, you have what? How the heck are you not freaking out about this? Hey, don't worry. It's not like I'm underprepared or anything. So, does that mean you've got some kind of plan? I do. In fact, that's kind of the whole reason I snuck over to talk to you. I've got a way to dominate this competition. Even with Miss Hundred Faces in the way. <laughs> we need to take more bases. Look, let's just grab this one first and then we can readjust. Yeah, sure. Huh? <laughs> hey, come on, man! Don't do this!
slow down, Nanase. You're too far ahead. You can still see me, can't you? I'm just doing my job as the team soldier and leading the way, alright? <laughs> you not being in my line of sight isn't the issue. It's that once again, you're being careless. Nothing's stopping you from walking How troublesome. Faster, you know? If you wish, Master, I could try to intervene. Uh, no. I should do it myself. What the? Huh. What is this? Watch it, Hito. This has got to be that crazy ability blackout. Not good. I can't see a thing. How will I know if someone got replaced? Answer me quickly, Nanase. What was the gift you got me for my birthday last year? Huh? I don't know. That was ages ago. Why? Are you suggesting I miss hundred faces? Just answer the question, would you? It's still me, you dolt. But with the way you're acting, how can we be sure it's you? Oh, man. This is bad. What do I do? Oh. Hey, Nanase, where are you going? We've still got- No, we don't! I'm done with your second guessing! So, just go ahead and play without me! What? <laughs> Wait, Nanase! <sighs> I'm sorry. I need to go clear my head. Nanase and I probably shouldn't play this afternoon. No, I think we probably shouldn't play at all. You're backing out? But what about the leadership bet you have going with Master? Right, the bet. Look, let's just say I wasn't cut out for the position to begin with and leave it at that. Man, so high strung. Would it kill them both to be a little more easygoing? <sighs> no shows, huh? Can't believe they actually sat out. Players can't join a game session once it's underway. The earliest they can rejoin us will be tomorrow. Well, it's done. The best we can do is carry on as discussed and see this through. Hmm? Hey, I know you only just started, but you're surrounded! Uh. Himichi! Akizuki! Hmm? We've got two teams inbound from the north and south! We're about to be flanked! Uh-oh! I'd wager that the person who used Blackout is on one of those teams. Uh. Aww! Just when it starts to feel like a date, it gets ruined! Man! Well, I don't much mind the dispelling of your delusions part, I very much do mind being flanked. If their intention with the ambush this morning was to divide us, I'll be coming in for the kill. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Will our plan really work? Not that I'm at all doubting our abilities. I mean, you and I are the most powerful power couple out there. And as third wheels go, your mate friend is kinda useful. But maybe we should run. Her attribution of third wheel status is clearly misassigned, though her concerns are not unfounded. It's true. The odds are against us here. But I think I've got the answer. So fate brings us together again, Mr. Seven Star. Why did it have to be the Demon Maiden? Sorry that we're a couple short. I've been hoping to face you with a full team. No need to apologize. After all, I'm the one who set the stage for that dramatic spat earlier. <laughs> You're just freely admitting it? Not as straight-laced as you seem, huh? The time's come to say goodbye. Master, we'll leave the Demon to you. <laughs> Uh, why are they coming at us? Um, maybe we should split up! You must have a death wish. Do you really think you can face me on your own? Just hold it! There's one of you, and five of us. You're outnumbered by both bodies and spells. It's hopeless, even if you are the strongest player on the island. You've got numbers all right. A quantity will always be a poor substitute for quality. <laughs> But how did he... Well, that's one down. Magic Blast no joke, huh? That was your spy, right? You're gonna pay for that! At your service as always, Master Shinohara. Good work. That was perfect, Himeji. <laughs> Good old misdirection! They think Shinoyuki's gone off with Noah, then BAM! Surprise attack! <sighs> Question is, was that enough to disrupt the conditions for her one-shot kill? Yeah. Master, look out! <sighs> that paltry barrier is the only reason you're still here. Even with it, that took off most of your life points! Come on, retreat! Right. <sighs> <sighs> What is this? The audacity! A counteract spell? 
What? Trying to leverage the playing field bonus? Yeah? Is that what you think? The distraction's working. But we can't get complacent. The Maiden's one-shot kill isn't disarmed yet. I've got an idea. I might have a way for us to even things out. If we can make it work, it may eliminate one of their members. It'll take risking my life to do it, though. Knowing that, would you be willing to put your trust in me? Yeah, of course. You've had nothing but my complete faith since the moment I met you. All right. Thank you, Master. I can't allow you to go any further. Himeji? <gasps> oh, angling to use the same trick twice, are we? Who can say? If you think you can stop me, you're welcome to try. All right, then. You asked for it. <laughs> Damn it! What was that? Just numerical adjustment. <gasps> Absurd! Attack spells are programmed to deal damage to a targeted player based on various numeric values. By recalculating the timing and trajectory, it's possible to redirect the very attack itself. She calculated all that in a few seconds? That's unbelievable! Guess she's not the company's lead for nothing! <sighs> what are you? A monster? I'm simply a maid, loyally in the service of my master, Hiroto Shinohara. Is that answer enough, demon? This fight's more difficult than I thought it'd be. But I'm not worried. Their spells have to run out eventually. No way! I didn't see them use trap! And that's three down. Don't look so surprised. Our little devil has a knack for anticipating people's movements. She's been dropping her beloved traps all over while we've been at it. <laughs> so that's it, huh? Her going after the Kagurazuki pair was just a ploy. Academy Island's strongest indeed. However, this plan of yours has one vital flaw. Which is? In your bid for defense, you've overdone the counteract spells. You haven't really left yourself much scope for attack. Yeah? How would you know how many- Thirty-five times! <laughs> you've used counteract thirty-five times since we started. Accounting for the one magic blast you fired off, there shouldn't be a single spell left in your personal slots. Seriously? How was she able to keep count during all of that? Not so <gasps> fast. Master still has me by his side, don't forget. If you want to get at him, then you'll have to go through his maid before that. Himeji! Medusa's magic eye. It's an ability that stops an opponent's movement for one minute. That sure sounds handy. With this, our victory is all but guaranteed. Is it? What about your one-shot kill, though? Don't you need your teammates' help to use it? <laughs> On the contrary, one-shot kill is by nature at its most lethal when its user's fighting solo. Huh? But this contest is a team battle. So in a show of solidarity, I overrode its primary condition for activation, necessitating the presence of allies to use it. Now I must undo that restriction. Please forgive me for this act of cowardice. <gasps> the harsh truth is, I've always been strongest alone. I'll make you regret belittling us. Now prepare yourself. <sighs> One shot kill! <laughs> That shouldn't be possible! All your slots should be empty by now! <laughs> yeah, it's true that a bunch of spaces got turned to green, but in thinking I took them, you fell right for it. Fell for what? My black wings, of course. <gasps> it's an ability that lets me control visual effects, so I just tweak the color. In actuality, I've barely dipped into my personal slots at all. Wait, what's going on? Electronic interference. My trump card. For Suyuri's honor and my own. I can't allow myself the luxury of falling here. Uh, hey! Uh. Uh. That was expertly handled, Master. Himeji. The demon maiden. She's quite adept in battle, isn't she? Her intuition and resourcefulness are peerless. But wasn't that kind of odd? Why didn't she finish me? All she had to do was throw out one more attack spell. I was helpless. It does seem strange. Perhaps she had a reason not to. Hiroto! Hmm? 
I hunted those two skittish guys down like dogs and ended them. So, didn't I do good? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you did. I wouldn't have made it without you. All right! But wait, something's not quite adding up. We just eliminated Kagurazuki, didn't we? So then, why hasn't Aimee's area increased oh. any? <laughs> You're right. It hasn't. Wait a sec. I remember something. Before I took out those two guys, they said they were under Miss Hundred Face's umbrella. What could that mean? Either way, I can't imagine all this weirdness is unrelated. Could it be him? Up to his old tricks again? Gotta play this right. From here on, it's all or nothing. Alright, look. I need you to trust me and listen closely. Huh? <laughs> Please accept my deepest apologies. I saw the live broadcast. Nana say too. Thanks to my profound arrogance, you were put into a situation you never should have been in. Enomoto, tell me and be honest. Did you ever actually suspect that Asamiya was really Miss Hundred Faces? No. I only said that because I wanted to make her mad. She's foolish, but she's honest and pure. No one can fake that. She was putting on a brave face, but I could tell she was off. I thought if she was out of the game... Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, oh uh, I'm just kind of surprised you're opening up to me. <sighs> it's something that's always on my mind. But it's not always easy mm -hmm. to say, you know? Uh... Oh? Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, Shino! I wasn't trying to eavesdrop on you, I promise! How much of that did you hear, Nanase? Answer or so help me, I will wipe your memory clean! I, uh, came in around when you were saying, I totally have the hots for Nanase, so like the tail in. I didn't say anything of the sort! That doesn't even sound remotely like me! Hey, you said, she's always on my mind. No, I didn't! What? You practically said that verbatim! <laughs> I noticed something when I watched the video on Libra. Huh? While we were negotiating with the Ibra Academy guys, one of them was preparing a magic blast spell. I noticed when I slowed it down to one-tenth speed. It was the guy Asamiya attacked. So that was it. You weren't being impulsive, were you? You did what you did to help us. I just want to do my part for the team, like everyone else. Shino's tough and seriously resourceful. Noah's cute and super clever. Yuki's just as cute and has brains for days. Then there's you. While I wouldn't exactly call you cute, you have a grounding presence people can count on. The only thing I can do is sling a sword. That's why you reacted so abnormally quickly? What else could I do? I saw it going down. Not that any of that matters now. It's pretty much over, right? We've got no area, no spells, our popularity's on the wane, and Shinohara, our premier player, has been eliminated. Hold up! Did you say... he's been eliminated? He was. Shino got eliminated from Astral at the end of the day. He... did it to himself. Alright, look. I need you to trust me and listen closely. Why would you do that? Hang on, was this just so you wouldn't lose our bet? I'm not gonna lie, satisfying the bet was one reason, but it wasn't the only one. Are you trying to say that you being eliminated will somehow help Aimee win? Miss Hundred Faces has turned Astral upside down. She now has whole teams working under her umbrella. And among her opponents, we're bottom of the pile. We can't win playing by the book. But I wouldn't worry. After all, everything's going according to plan. <laughs> all according to plan. I'm so damn good it's almost frightening. Just keep doing what you're doing, my dear. You're my ticket to victory. <laughs> ah, here you are! Thanks for- yeah. Is it Sarasa? But aren't the two of you meant to be fighting? That is what the imposter wants. But since neither of us much like being told what to do, we've decided to team up instead. <laughs> It was all his idea. Hey, Kazumi, be honest. That video of Tokyo Academy, I could tell it really disturbed you. But when the footage aired, the commentary was nothing but pure praise for Miss Hundred Faces. Why would Libra endorse that kind of senseless violence? You can tell me. If we're gonna stand up to her, 
then we'll need Libra's help to do it. Forget it! You don't want to be dragged into this nonsense! <sighs> don't underestimate us. Remember, we're the Seven Star, and the rightful Empress. Uh, but I... Fine, have it your way, but don't say I didn't warn you. Miss Hundred Faces is an illegal player. She isn't affiliated with any academy, and so has no right to compete. Her account is completely fabricated, too. However, the ally she has on the Astral Management Committee is very real. That must be Karahashi. Whoever she might be, her data's all over the place! Entire settings and command structures have been rewritten to help her! She's a cheating phony with a deck stack in her favor! And when I realized the truth, reality came crashing down on me like a ton of bricks. If Miss Hundred Faces manages to win, it'll be the biggest disaster in Academy Island's history! And Lieber will take the fall for being forced to go along with it. <laughs> Astral is supposed to be a fun, positive thing that brings the island together! I just want to put on an exciting show for everyone! All that time planning at Libra, I put everything I had into this contest! <gasps> hey, it's alright. Sarasa, I don't... I don't want... I don't want Libra to be ruined by something that's stupidly unfair! I don't want the place I call home to be destroyed by some pointless power grab! So Shinohara, Sarasa, please! I'm begging you! Please save Libra for me and win this thing! Okay. I'm the strongest person on the island, and she's a close second. Miss Hundred Faces is nothing compared to us. <laughs> hmm. Why are we sticking around squash together like package meat again? Look, I told you already! Astral rules are clear on this. We can't be seen to have any contact with people from Libra. But, Master? Hey, watch it! Hands off the merch! Uh, what the? My hand's not touching anything! Yeah, then what did I just feel? Huh? <gasps> okay, now you're pushing it! It wasn't me! Maybe it was Himeji! Huh? There's no way you can hold it! Huh? My actions are beyond my control! Watch it! Uh. 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 This is the United Army ability Miss Hundred Faces is using. It's worse than I thought. So this is her umbrella, huh? If the description is accurate, then all academies in her army will tie for second place, if she gets first. That's a good incentive. I can see why people are so eager to sign up. Sure explains a lot. There's already seven teams sworn to Miss Hundred Faces right now. Well, that certainly reframes Kururugi's retreat. Even solo, she could leverage the Alliance and tie for second. Ugh. Oh, great. He's with her? Oh. The holder of the Black Star, Kirigaya Toya. He might be even more trouble than the Demon Maiden. Seriously? Oh. Our position is tenuous, but if we can unite the other teams through Libra, we might still have a chance. Miss Hundred Faces has less than half the total area, so... If the remaining academies put their differences aside, we could turn this around. Yeah, but how do we get them to cooperate with us? They have no other choice. If the Alliance of Miss Hundred Faces wins, everyone else loses a star. Oh yeah, right! Folks would do anything they could to avoid that. Like going head to head with Miss Hundred Faces. In that case, it's time for this phoenix to rise up from the ashes of elimination. That should light a fire under everyone, right? You bet your ass it will. The trap please come back! It's an excellent idea, Master. It looks like I'm off to MTCG. If you can manage to clear the MTCG's hardest route, you'll get the wild card that lets you participate in Astral again. Time won't be on your side. You'll only have tomorrow morning left to clear that route. We're cutting it close. Hmm. Kazumi, tell me, what's the quickest possible scenario for a participant to win the wild card? Hidden quest, maybe? You'd have to beat the sixth assassin at the end of it. The sixth assassin? They're an outside competitor who's in middle school. Middle school? Wait a sec. Do you mean Sumugi Shina? Whoa! How the heck did you know that? Oh, well, because... How best to explain this? So you casually picked up a middle school girl in the lobby, and then took her back to her room? Uh-huh. You certainly are a fast worker, aren't you? Who would have thought? It's all innocent, I tell you! Innocent! Crimes aside, Sumugi Shina is the final boss in the MTCG! All right, so tomorrow I need to enter the MTCG, 
Defeat Sheena in battle, get my hands on the wild card, and then return to Astral. <sighs> Can you guys hold out that long? You don't have to worry about us. You're not suddenly getting cold feet, are you? We're fine. Aime and Oka can hold their own while you're off doing your thing. So, uh, you could just focus your attention on getting back to us as soon as you can, you big dummy. You're incorrigible. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Let's do this thing! Right. Thanks, Kazumi. Take a look at your device right now. Hmm? The most important concepts you need to be aware of in MTCG are cards, quests, and coins. The cards are numbered 1 through 9. Now pay close attention to these values, because only by adding them up can you get your familiar's level. There are five quest stages, all sharing the same goal, vanquishing your opponent's familiar. Now, in order to accomplish this, you have to raise your familiar's level to be equal to that of your opponent's. I see. So it's a number matching game. Precisely! The way you level up is by using Strengthen and Exchange on your cards. Strengthening takes time though, so try to be conscious of that. Interesting. Looks like you have to pay for the upgrades. Which means it's not exactly the quickest way to level up. Not at all. That's what Exchange is for. Number augmentation on the fly! If you're willing to sweeten the deal with some extra coin, you can use it to trade up for a better card. The exchange rates depend on comparative value. Hmm. That makes sense. The coins bridge the gap. Coins are also used to purchase skill cards. You can nab those on your device for a fee. Your card carry limit is hard capped to five. Three number cards and two skill cards. So choose wisely. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think you'd see me again so soon, did ya? And you are? <laughs> Why you? I'm the guy you kicked out of Astral! Yuikawa, Ibra Academy! <laughs> you come to Relegation Land looking for a second chance too, then? Don't bother. I made it to Quest Stage 5. I'm about to clear this whole thing. There's no way you could catch up at this point. Hey! <laughs> Which one of my cards would you like to trade? Uh... Have you got a four? One. I'd be happy to trade it. How does your lowest number and a hundred coins sound? Hey! Don't start talking to him like I'm not here! <laughs> Just a hundred coins. That sure helped me out. You're trying to beat her, right? Miss Hundred Faces? And what if I am? Our Academy's leader, Miss Kurugi, is dependable to a fault. A trait that surely drove her to join forces with Miss Hundred Faces. She had to, because we were too weak. We failed her. That's why... I'm asking you, make your way back to Astral. And please, set Senri free. We all just want to get stronger, but do it together. I see. Thanks for the generous trade, seriously. And while I can't say I'm doing a Fursuyuri, I will defeat Miss Hundred Faces. Thank you. Good luck. Talk about lucky. That already puts me up to level 6. Yeah! I think it's time for you to find your first opponent. Libra's special search function, huh? Alright, level 6ers, where are you at? Uh, what? You're Shirahara! Oh, come on! You're already challenging me, but you just got here! Commencing battle. Uh. Our monumental first battle! It is now your turn. Think, what card is your opponent going to use to up his numbers? Anticipate it. First move, reward up. Opponent's turn. He'll probably open with level up to bolster his value. It is now your turn. Now I'll use level up to boost my numbers too. Reveal face. Hmm. 
We're the same level. Which means I win. What the? Game over. The challenger wins. All right. If I'm speedrunning this thing, I'm gonna need coins. I guess it's time to make some waves. The guy rocking the polka dot apron is an adjuster. He can exchange cards and coins for you. I'd like to make an exchange. I'll hand over my one card. And take a reward up card instead. Uh, he's getting rid of a number card? How does he expect to clear the game if he only has two number cards? Are you... certain? I am. Do it. Very well then. The current exchange rate between the number one card and skill up is approximately 99,000 coins. 99,000? That's a ridiculous amount! Seriously? Sounds good. I accept the trade. Yowzing! Nice. That's days worth of coins in an instant. Just what the heck is he gonna do next? That was phenomenal, Shinohara! Nobody else would have ever even thought of attempting that! I suppose now you can exchange however many trading cards you want! Things progress swiftly. Quest after quest giving way. Soon, with Libra's help, I'd even managed to reclaim a third number card. From there, all that was left for me to do was finish getting them up to nine. Hey, Shinohara! Hmm? <laughs> we figured you'd be needing these about now. <laughs> Ta-da! We've been pumping up our numbers all day. Between me and Tatara, we've managed to secure two nine cards. Oh, wow. And are you guys wanting to trade them? Of course! <laughs> and no exchange rates. Aimee ride or die, baby! If you can win here, Shinohara, Aimee might be able to turn things around. I want to see that happen. So here, take them. Our future's in your hands, so go back to Astral and win! Got it? Yeah, got it. You have my word. I'll make your dream come true. Tatara, Suji, thank you. <laughs> Don't mention it. Kick some butt! Good luck! Hmm? Hey, yo, Hiro, you got a sec, man? I've been hacking away at Sumusumu's data like a lumberjack, but security's being obnoxious and I'm stuck on the last password! It's typically a numeric value derived from the player's level, but deciphering that could take ages! Could you, like, social engineer it out of her? Yeah, leave it to me. So, Sheena's level, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Shinohara! You got pretty close there. But now stand and watch in shame! <laughs> Mister, I didn't think I'd see you in the MTCG. Sheena, I never expected you to be the final boss. Commencing battle. <laughs> you ready to dance, final boss? <laughs> Question, what level do you get when you use a double application of the skill Exceed Limit? Reveal phase. The answer is a mic-dropping 33! <laughs> 33? After all that talk? You really thought that'd be enough to beat me? <gasps> no! This is... a mistake! Sick him! <laughs> Game over. The boss wins. You're that certain? This game is just about matching numbers. 
If you only focus on going high, you'll never win. Which means... It's low, isn't it? That level of yours... is negative! Incredible! You're 100% correct! My sub level is negative 99, in fact. Lloyd's a guard dog from hell, so it only makes sense to invert my level. Oh yeah? Sounds like something you'd think of. Kagaya, you're up! It's my time to shine! Big sis to the rescue! Commencing battle. Let's go. Okay, yeah! Hino, I'm done overriding the data. You're good to go? All right. It is now your turn. I use Exceed Limit on all my numbers cards, raising their value by one. Reveal phase. Following that, I'm at level 30. Uh, why do you do that? You already know my level is negative 99, right? I mean, it's not like you could have gotten that number anyway, but... <gasps> why does Light shoot up to level 30 all of a sudden? <laughs> Because nimble-fingered Kaguya hacked your device and changed its level to match mine. <laughs> Looks like it's... the end of the game! Game over. The challenger wins. Good job, Shinohara. Wow, wow, wow! You're like so, so super strong, mister! I'm shivering! I've got goosebumps here! Things are finally getting fun! Just go for it. Hey, Sheena. Are you her? The doppelganger? <laughs> yep, I am. Though I think Miss Hundred Bases sounds nicer. Next time, let's compete in Astral, okay? We can play a whole bunch of games together and really finish it off with a bang! <laughs> From here on out, things are gonna get serious. It really was Mikado Kurahashi behind all of this. I've gotta get back to Astral quick! Oh. Yes! Made it! Yo, guys! This thing on? It's me! The record setting 7 star. Hiroto Shinohara. Huh? What's going on? Why is Shinohara on the PA? Uh, is it making a comeback? I dropped in on the MTCG and snagged myself a wild card. That's right, folks. Yours truly is back from the dead. While gone, I learned something interesting. Miss Hundred Faces isn't even a player. She's just an enemy character the admins threw in for kicks. Huh? A glorified gimmick to make the contest a little more exciting. All of you are the top players from your academies. The cream of the high-ranking crop. So are you gonna let some sideshow act beat you? And steal your stars? I realize the situation we're facing is desperate. Victory feels a million miles away. But we can choose not to fall down alone. And rise up strong together. If we form an alliance, we could turn the tide and push back against Miss Hundred Faces. Leading from the front will be the resurrected Seven Star. Academy Island's strongest, me. Any team who wants to join the alliance, simply make a truce agreement with Aimei Academy. Yeah, it isn't over yet. You can't give up now with the Seven Star on our side. <laughs> the enemy of my enemy. All right, as one. It's time we take the fight to them. Did you miss me? every faith you'd make it back to us. <laughs> you really are a tough one to keep down, aren't you? Even if you are a slowpoke. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> oh, that sneaky little brat. 
So what? The board is still stacked in my favor. <laughs> I'll just keep crushing you until it takes. All right then, let's quickly review the situation. Before the end of Day 4's first period, I was able to unify the holdout teams against our common enemy. Suisei, Oka, Omi, Murakumo, and Soken all stand with us. Including Aimei, our allied army has a total of 20 active players, whereas the coalition we're up against has but 14. The academies we're facing are Seijo, Shinra, Otowa, Saint Rosalia, and Suyuri. You're saying we outnumber them by six? Yeah, but they've got some really heavy hitters in their 14. The Phoenix and the Demon, those two alone are enough of a handful. And the ringleader? A player who shouldn't legally be here, propped up by Seijo's former headmaster. She's been using illegal exploits to adjust any setting she wants. Movement value set to max, unlimited spells, combined benefits from multiple roles, unrestricted access to the map from the start, and the icing on the cake? 999 life points. Wait, 999? We can't beat that! You're right, we can't. But there's someone who can. The Demon Maiden. <laughs> Even with close to a thousand life points, Senri Kururugi's one-shot kill could still take her down. Yeah, but like, isn't she all buddy-buddy with Miss Hundred Faces? That's why we're just gonna have to convince her to help us. Even if that means having to defeat her first. She's indeed no standard foe. If we're to fight her, then we'll need an edge. Yeah, let's go take a base. <laughs> Omi's got one we can borrow, and it's only a hop and a skip over there. All we have to do is go and ask them for it. That's right! Then all this will become Aimee's! That additional area would indeed be a significant advantage. I'll act as a decoy and draw the enemy off. Anamoto and Akizuki will meet up with Omi, then sweet-talk them into giving us a base. <laughs> Being sweet is my specialty. <laughs> You know it wouldn't kill you to say please, Shinohara. Oh, quit being such a stick in the mud! We don't have any time to waste. Right. You all know what you have to do. Don't even think about holding back. We're going to war. Oh yeah! It's about to get barrel up in here! The Allied Army A-Base cobbled together from the Defiant Holdout is taking the fight to Miss Hundred Face's own United Army! Right now, the center is a sea of black, but the Allied Army's gearing up for a two-bodied North-South Pound! The first cat fight is on the right, with the main body of Miss Hundred Faces United Army clashing with the Allied Empress, Sanasa Sayonji! Claws are out in the middle, with Toyo Kirigaya and Seide Kugasaki's United Absolute Monarchy team about to battle the combined strength of Suisei and Sokan Academy! Last but not least, we've got Senri Kugurugi's Diabolical Demon Maiden team facing off against the Allied Army's indomitable right hook, Ame and Omi! The odds are tough, but if there's anybody who can fight their way through this, it's him! Coming back from the dead, it's the nine line, seven star, one and only, Hinoto Shinohara himself! And he's about to turn Astral into all out armor, yes! All right, Shinohara, the rest is up to you. <laughs> you came. Uh, doesn't she want to fight? Or is it that she can't? You're out of luck, seven star! Cause this here team of ours excels in interception! Be good! And just die quietly! Huh? No way! Hmm. Impeccable timing, Prez. No! Yeah! Look out! You gotta be kidding! <laughs> the Seven Star's mine! Not happening! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what was that you were saying about dying quietly? <laughs> I'm deactivating your restraints! Cowards. Your dishonorable surprise tactics can merit only one response. Judgment! We lost Omi? 
Guess she was being held back after all. Hiroto Shinohara, before this ends, I will bury you with my own two hands. But the rest of you aren't even worth the energy. See what now? Shinji, advanced warning, I'm about to do something real impulsive here. <laughs> Unreasonable as always. But I've got your back. Let's try it your way, Nanase. <laughs> About time! Why don't you just disappear? Uh, uh. Sorry, dodging's not in me! No way! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Support skill, lightning rod. It drew off your ability towards me instead, but since I was out of range, the attack harmlessly dissipated before it could connect. Nice one! That was outstanding! <sighs> oh yeah? Don't even think about it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Damn! Keep your distance! <laughs> you hit me? But you were... What you just witnessed was called Cornered. It's an ability that increases basic attack range and buffs various skills when my partner's under threat. An ability to help Inomoto? Such devotion. I didn't realize how intimate your relationship was. <laughs> hey, he and I aren't intimate at all. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> well, Kurirugi, seems like you've lost this one. I know you gave that whole speech about being stronger alone, but that's clearly not the case. Funny. Back in the MTCG, I bumped into one of your fellow classmates. She was kind of upset. Upset? Yeah, because you gave yourself up, falling in with Miss Hundred Faces. But it's more fair to say they're upset with themselves for being so weak that you had to. So, instead of always just depending on you, they want to be strong enough to fight with you. Fight with me? I see. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't even be Demon Maiden in the first place. All right, I'm ready. Finish me off, Seven Star. <laughs> Sorry, your execution's been cancelled. But maybe I can offer you a redemption arc instead. Uh. <sighs> she wiped out my unit like we were nothing. How did she get so strong? Our only hope is to regroup and attack as one. It's okay. He'll be here with reinforcements soon, I know it. Oh man. This allied army of theirs is a total snooze fest. Toya Kirigaya. Just who could have imagined you'd be able to repel a well-planned flank attack all by yourself? Ain't nothing impressive about beating a bunch of weak-ass losers, man. Yet of our unit, only we three remain. This sucks. I only wanted a good seat to watch the show, and now I'm like a main character. Just kill me. My, how dispassionate. Rosalia. Shizuku Minami, right? Judgment from the Vampire Lord. How terrifying. My blood's running cold. Watch it. You know, you were actually pretty good back there. You pack a big punch for such a small, unassuming thing. You keep that up and I might just fall for you. Yeah, no. Oh, come on! Once Astral's done, this whole island's gonna be thirsty for Toya. Really? As ambitious as ever. Well then, perhaps you could start with conquering them. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for these guys. Word is you allied stiff showed our boys one hell of a time. That's so? They lost too fast for me to notice. <laughs> Man, I hope that your Empress will be just as mouthy when we make good on our orders to break her. Did you hear that? Yeah, there's no doubt. Toya Kirigaya is thrown in with him. Kurahashi. Enough chit chat! Let's do this thing! <laughs> How did she react so quickly? Hi! Bear witness to the might of the Phoenix! <laughs> nice side axe. Now let's see the headliner. <laughs> Compound my upgrade. Compound upgrade? Cool, huh? Stacking two like spells for additional use was sick enough, but with my Black Star, I can double on down and hybridize! Meaning I can combine as many flashy separate use attack spells as I want into one big old ball of sucking! But you know what? It'd be better if I just showed you! Magic Blast and Sword Flash! Mix them together and they make a whole new kind of spell! One I like to call... 
The magic blade! Hey, Meiji! A combined spell? That's awesome! No, wait! Awful! It's awful! <laughs> Damn it! There's no time to strategize! Hey, Namoto! Shinohara, we need to buy some time to think through this, right? Uh, yeah! All we can get! Huh? Consider it done. I'll keep him busy as long as I can. Just work your magic and find us a way through this. Hey, May's student council president to the rescue? Right. Take care of this guy, would you, Prez? One day you really must start saying please, Commander. <laughs> I need to come up with a plan, now. Uh, Himeji, do your thing. Uh, my thing? Uh, of course! Playtime's over! What the? <laughs> it worked like a charm. Damn you! What did you do to me? <laughs> that right there was the replacement ability. Your magic blade belongs to me now. Damn it! Sorry, but no. I've already seen how that attack works. And this? You haven't got a chance at beating me. And you don't know what you're talking about! Hmm. Well, you are annoyingly fast, I'll give you that much. Sexy thighs, too. That's always a plus. I'm looking down there! Just now, you said it was pointless using compound upgrade because you've already seen it, right? That's right. I can evade attacks that I know. Yeah, but you're forgetting one very important thing. The same ability or not, with the power difference between a 6-star and a 7, it might as well be a new move entirely. New move? move? Magic Blade Unseen! <laughs> Damn it! Given the understanding that Compound Upgrade has the capacity to fuse together any spell, why limit that to just attack? I figured why not add Conceal into the mix? What came out? Was a magic blade more powerful than anything ever seen before? <laughs> we got ourselves a lateral thinker here! Nice, nice one. one! Brilliant as usual, Master. <laughs> Not quite. I just totally made that up. Reality is, the company juiced up the effect. Ha! <laughs> Never thought the day would come when I'd have to whip out my big guns! <laughs> I'm really gonna enjoy this! <laughs> What the? Dual wheel technique! Ah, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it! Alright, losers! It's time to say... Good night! Guess this is... Yeah. Asamiya! Enemoto! <laughs> an eye for an eye is good in principle, but that was barely worth the calories. Shinohara! Guess who can't use his compound upgrade? You got all excited and wasted it early! You've completely exhausted your entire spell stockpile, haven't you? <laughs> Akizuki! Miss Akizuki, what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> now watch closely, Shiryuki. This is how you make an impression. <laughs> 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 Another one for the slaughter! Die! Get back! Akizuki! Hey, Hirato, did I at least do something good in the end? Of course you did. I did? That's good. Then maybe one day I can finally become your ace. Akisuki. Ah <laughs> oh, man, that's a real letdown. I had higher hopes for Aimee's little devil, but a loser still a loser. Huh? Uh, 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 binding? He's caught. But how? Movement restriction. It's the same kind of thing Shiyuki got hit with yesterday. So did Akizuki do this? 
Yeah, this is her all over. Hell hath no fury type of stuff. Looks like she initiated a comeuppance trap at Spring in the event of her elimination. Yeah, honestly, just what do you guys take me for? You really think this be enough to stop me? What? Yeah! Inability barrier upgrade. It's my thick, invincible wall of a spell, automatically shutting down anything you can throw my way. <sighs> That's strike three, Kitty Gaia. First was compound upgrade, then dual wield, and now this. You've played your hand entirely. Oh yeah? What does that matter? As long as my inability barrier upgrade stays active, you can't even touch me. But I can still raise hell to my heart's content from inside of it. So then we'll just have to attack from within, won't we? Huh? <laughs> what? Surprised? My remotely cast spells render your banal little fortress's defenses all but obsolete. You asshole! Think you can betray me and just get away with it? <laughs> Betrayal? Did you forget how I got my name? I, the Blazing Phoenix, burn for Saras as Ionji with every searing cinder of my soul! Now and forever! You think I would tolerate a filthy fake Empress? Completely unacceptable! Are you telling me you planned all this from the start? Bingo! Mm -hmm. Well, it's just a temporary truce for Astral. Hey. Hiroto Shinohara? Me and Kugasaki teamed up. <laughs> well, guess you got me. <laughs> I'm man enough to know when I've been beat. But going quietly into the night? Afraid that's just not my style! Oh. <laughs> Imiji! <laughs> my deepest apologies, Master. I'd hope to attend you until the very end. Please forgive me. What are you talking about? Why did you go and do that? Because, Master. This plan could only ever have worked if you were a part of it. Besides, even if I'm not actively competing, it doesn't mean I'll stop being useful. Do you? It would appear you're the only one on your team left. Yeah. All I can do now is hope Sionji holds out until Kururugi gets there. Ah, so that's it. Your final endgame gambit is the Demon Maiden. Kirigaya figured Seijo's indiscretion would be exposed, and so he withdrew from the United Army before his demise. If he hadn't, his complicity would have earned him a disqualification. He sure is a crafty one. Since my betrayal's been exposed, I've also withdrawn from them. I believe I'll follow Kirigaya's lead and secure my own rank. And please... Do me a favor and hold off on the eulogizing. Until next time, my rival. Protect the Empress's honor in my place. That is all I ask. Hmm. End this, Kururugi. Put Miss Hundred Faces down. There we are. Shall I put you out of your misery? You're through. With one shot, kill! You've got her! It's over! I'm sorry, Sayanji. <laughs> Cheap trick having her stab me in the back like that. No way! It's impossible! We put everything we had left to give into creating that opening. Well, I guess it's to be expected. If one shot kill isn't enough to stop you, what is? I think it's obvious which one of us is the winner here. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Aren't you lucky? You get to cling to the title of Empress until the very last day. <gasps> I... survived? <sighs> 
So, even with one shot kill, we still couldn't beat Miss Hundred Faces. Yeah, I should have expected that. Doesn't look good for us, does it? Uh. Sionji? Hmm. You know? I'm kind of surprised you're not freaking out right now. I could say the same to you. Uh, what? No way. Not this girl. <sighs> you know? Now that you're with me, there's something that I have to say. Huh? Why do you sound so serious? Sionji. Shinohara, please! My heart isn't ready yet! I've got a meeting, so you'll need to hide. Pardon? Alright, team. It seems our all-out war was a bust. As things stand, directly defeating Sumugi Shina, Miss Hundred Faces is impossible. So what are we, like, just supposed to give up? Absolutely not. If our enemy's willing to play fast and loose, so will we. Whatever it takes, we'll do it. <laughs> you say that, but we're still outmatched. She's got complete control of this game. Right, so we start a new one. Set it up inside of Astral. One final game. <laughs> it would appear you've been preparing for this. That's commendable. But we'd still have to convince her to play. That's true. Miss Hundred Faces holds the majority of the area by far. If she can win just by waiting it out, why bother playing another game? And with tomorrow being the last day, Kurahashi will try to dig his heels in deep. Yeah, he won't stay out of this. Which ultimately means we're facing off against two opponents, not one. Knowing that, are you willing to trust me? Yes. No question! Of course! <laughs> I guess so. I'm counting on you. We only have one shot at this. Let's show them what we're made of. All right! right. Huh. Now then, how do I convince Sheena to play a game? Finally, there you are! Mm. Big bro! A surprise <laughs> attack? Oh. Hey, let's play some games! What do you say? Huh? Seriously, I lost again! She's behaving as though yesterday never happened. Hey, you are genuinely Miss Hundred Faces, aren't you? Uh, of course! Bonafide participating member of Seijo Academy! How'd you wind up becoming involved in all of this anyway? Mm, how you ask? Mm. Well, I don't really like going to school, so more often than not I just stay home playing games and doing stuff on the computer. Oh yeah, you've said that before. I got into middle school and thought I'd be done with mandatory education soon. That I wouldn't have to deal with dull classes and dumb teachers anymore. But then it hit me! If I didn't get into high school, I couldn't play the cool star catching game! Okay, I guess you're right. There was no way I was gonna miss out on something that was actually fun for a change. So I modded my device a little and force installed a special program that let me play! The first fake account in Academy Island history was a boredom alleviating whim? <laughs> impressed? Uh, yeah, real impressed. <laughs> but then one day... I got this weird message from a person called Mikado something. Hmm? He wanted me to join him, and I was all like, your talents would serve me well! It was some super shady stuff! I mean, really! That's pretty much Evil Organization 101! Anyway, that's who invited me to join Astro! He gave me this OP star that lets me make perfect copies of things! In exchange, Dolly asked me to do was issue a proclamation of war! The one where I declared I was gonna defeat you and the Empress! Remember? Vividly. So that's what happened. Hmm? <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be Astro's grand finale, isn't it? The last day I get to play with everyone at the event. I'm so excited, I don't think that I can sleep a single week. She says sleeping. Sweet little Sheena. She probably doesn't have a clue what's really at stake here. She's just playing along. Victory would be fun and defeat disappointing. In the end, it's all just a game to her. Still, she's not gonna give up. She'll keep on playing the game until somebody wins. Somehow, I have to convince her that she's already lost, that the game's over, and it's finally time to stop. And so, the three surviving Astral players gather together on the game field. <laughs> Hey, I've been thinking, Sheena. <laughs> I miss Hundred Faces right now, silly. But wouldn't you rather end this thing as yourself? Show everyone who's really been playing all this time? You think so? Fine, I suppose the Empress Act can wait. There! Happy Big Bro! 
big bro? Oh, crap. Oh, and Sheena, since this is the first we're meeting on the field, I think maybe we should go over the rules. Huh? As of today, only three academies still remain in the competition. Those are Oka, Aimei, and Seijo. And of the surviving finalists, I have the most captured area, the most spells, and the highest support rating, too! You sure do. But aren't you forgetting something? Uh -huh. Before this contest started, you issued a challenge to Sionji, didn't you? You declared war on her through iTube with the whole of Academy Island watching. Oh, guess I did do that. You haven't forgotten the win condition of the game you challenged her to, have you? It was kind of an important point. I think it was that whoever beats you first would be the winner. That's right. So basically that means our ranks in Astral have no real bearing at all. <sighs> I recall you saying something else, too. That if neither of you could actually beat me, then I myself would be considered the victor of the Empress battle. If it came down to that, then you agreed to let me decide what would happen to you afterwards. <gasps> Did I actually say all of that? Um, it does sound familiar. Yeah, which means in the fight for the name of Empress, I could technically win just by running away. Honestly, on that front, there's no real incentive for me to fight you. But if I did that, I'd inevitably lose in Astral. The same holds true for Sionji. I'm not relinquishing the throne of Empress to you, kid. A part of me wouldn't mind Shinohara playing an evasive while the clock ran out. That said, if you do win Astral, then Oka Academy would drop down and rank to at least 6th place. That's not something I can accept. So then, Shina, what say we settle this with a new game instead? <laughs> you understand what I just said, right? Astral isn't enough. It isn't? Well, uh, okay. <laughs> so then, how about we play Winner Take All? With another game called Crossboard. It's a turn-based board game that works inside Astral. If you're able to beat me, both the competition and the title of Empress belong to you. On our end, it gives us a reason to stand and fight. Hmm. <laughs> I can get on board with that. <sighs> Come on, Sheena. This is what you wanted, isn't it? An invitation to a star-catching game, the thing that brought you here. Your opponents being a six-star genius <laughs> princess, and the seven-star himself. Pass this up, and you'll never get another chance like it. Huh? You're right! Yeah, let's do it! Let's finish this whole thing off with an all-or-nothing game of crossboard! This is some next level production design. Yeah, it's crazy. In Crossboard, all the astral spaces are compressed down into just a hundred. Player positions and abilities are all carried over. You have an area and a core base. If you lose either one of those, you're out. <laughs> Listen up, because this bit's important. Crossboard is completely integrated with Astral. You make a change on this game board, and it'll be reflected on the greater playing field around us. Understand? Whoever takes Aimee's spaces first will be the real Empress. Wow, nice! Alright, I'll start, okay? Sumugi, Sheena's turn. First, take a main action. There are two types of flags to choose from. Select one and place it on the board. You can only put it on a space adjacent to your held area. After all. You thought you'd win on the first turn? Next up is the sub action. There are three, but you can only activate one. Choices, choices. Okay, I'll use one of the Empress's spaces. Oh, maybe next time. Alright, it's your turn now, big bro. Hiroto, Shinohara's turn. Right. <gasps> you picked Encroach? Are you crazy, big bro? You've only got two spaces left and you're sucking up the turn delay? Wait, hold on. You're not just letting me win out of brotherly love, are you? I'm not that generous. And I'm not your brother, either. Now for my sub-action, I'll use Disrupt. We're in a deadlock. Uh, a deadlock? What are you talking about? Can't you see? Because of Shinohara's current predicament, he's all but attack-proof. Aimee has two spaces left. Since I don't know which is the core, I'd have to weed one out. But if I do that and you take your next turn... See the problem here? <gasps> Right. To secure definitive victory, you have to beat me. But because Crossboard's turn-based, if you get Aimee down to one space on your move, then the other team will win on theirs. Uh, 
Basically, neither of you can attack me without handing over the win, and your only real option is to protect me from the other player. Wait, were you planning to put yourself in this position right from the start? Well, yeah, of course I was. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I'll happily play the long game if it means Oka winning. Sarasa Sayonji's turn. I use Disrupt as my sub-action. Sumugi, Shina's turn. Now let me think. What do I want to do next? Looking at her, Sheena really does strike me as someone who just loves to play. She's not the type to cheat for the sake of winning. Oh, what's going on? How come Seijo's taking over my spaces? Hmm? Uh, huh? Why is the color changing to match mine? This isn't one of your abilities, then? Uh, I don't think so. Wait! Maybe my wicked powers are so insanely strong that they're spilling over onto the board? Uh, yeah, definitely. No way. Sheena hasn't even taken her action yet. There's only one thing this could be. Huh? What's happening? They're fakes. Corrupted copies. They're the same as Miss Hundred Faces. Wait, what? They're all just like me? You think they're using the same kind of mimicking technology they used to ape me? Uh, yeah. Some sort of cloned army brought in to expand his area. Kurahashi's the only one who could be making these corrupt copies appear. Damn it. He's trying to shamelessly force win the game. Now? Let's keep up the momentum! Huh? If I lose one more space, I'm done for. Shinohara. Since the two games are connected, manipulating one to affect the other is a simple undertaking. Why even make that a rule in the first place? Isn't it obvious? It all comes down to the basic balance of risk versus reward. That said, with teammates like mine, risk just isn't a thing. Hiroto, Shinohara's turn. Huh? Mm. Oh? Narase, you're flanked to your left and right! Create some aerial distance, then shoot! Follow up with the barrier to the left, then back on up, and let him have it! That's too many orders, Shinji! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Easy as pie! Yeah, thanks to me. Next time, just skip the grumbling and do what I tell you, okay? You're not even gonna give me some credit after that performance? Honestly, am I just your dutiful little lapdog or something? Yes. Of course you are. There's only one person I can trust to follow my instructions with absolute unerring devotion. Naturally, that's you, Nanase. <gasps> hey, you make it out like I'm some googly-eyed whack job that has nothing but total faith in you and your decision-making. You don't? You're not honestly asking me to say it, are you? Isn't it telling enough that I keep letting you watch my back like this? I suppose. But Nanase, can we truly describe the part I play as watching your back, when all I do is bark commands from a good, safe distance? Really? Don't be so literal, you <laughs> idiot! Nanase Asamiya and Shinji Enomoto. <clears throat> How are those two brats still alive? Wasn't Kirigaya supposed to have taken care of them? They used lightning rod! <clears throat> Damn it! Even the server logs have been falsified! Libra must be in on it too! It's you, isn't it? Hiroto Shinohara? You planned this all out, didn't you? <laughs> ah, I'll just have to resort to my old failsafe. If the board's looking bare, then add a new piece. I'll be back in control in no time. <laughs> He's already on my payroll. So the least he can do is make himself useful. You know what to do, Kirigaya. Go and show those fools that we're not to be trifled with. Nah, that ain't happening, and you can drop this Wii stuff too. Drop it? <laughs> Kurahashi. Shinohara's already seen through your crappy comeback plan. Your ship's sinking, man, and I sure as hell ain't going down with it. How dare you! Now listen here, you ungrateful pawn. You're gonna do what I tell you to- Watch your toad, you yuppie scumbag. D <clears throat> Did you seriously believe someone like you can take on a legit seven star? You're finished. Now kindly lose my number, would ya? Kirigaya? <laughs> ah, damn! You unruly good-for-nothing punk! Turn five, and the pendulum swings back our way. Sumugi, Shina's turn. Well, that's because I can't afford to lose this one. Credit where credit's due. Sionji's keeping pace without using any cheats at all. It's mind-blowing. <sighs> Guys, I'm feeling kinda weird. 
What do you mean by weird? Like my body suddenly isn't listening to me or something. Uh, what the? Hey, do what I tell you. What? Uh, uh, wait, so what if I just tap the space I take it? Uh, <laughs> it's gotta be Kurahashi. He must have gotten tired of taking the indirect approach. I mean, really. There is such a thing as losing with grace. I'm not complaining. His petulance gave us everything we need. Hiroto, Shinoharu's turn. Activate ability tracing. Find him. Yo, the hell? Hashi. You hearing me okay? <sighs> I've about had it with the Machiavellian shtick. So be a good boy and surrender. Die! <clears throat> Damn! Oh, by the way, you know this handy tracing ability I'm using to talk to you right now? Well, no shock, <clears throat> but it lets me know exactly where I can find you. So what? You can't do a damn thing while you're stuck inside Astral! Maybe I can, but last I checked, there were four other AMA players besides yours truly. You've seen what our duo of Asamiya and Enomoto are doing, so that's no surprise. But what about the other two? I wonder where that unlikely pairing could be. Which two? <laughs> hey, aren't you... Master Hiroto Shinohara's personal maid, Shiryuki Himeji. I'm told that you possess an interesting new game. One that lets you take control of Miss Hundred Faces. Huh, what's one lone girl gonna do about it? One lone girl? Apologies. I'm not much good with the opposite sex, and so with that in mind... Get wrecked! You crossed the wrong ladies, you scrub! You've no right to be here! Face it, you're beaten. <laughs> After Himeji and Ko broke into Kotahashi's HQ, it was over. Things wrapped up pretty quickly. Himeji assumed control of Miss Hundred Faces, allowing us to turn the board green. And just like that, Seijo's domination and all the power it brought to bear vanished in an instant. Sumagi Shina is eliminated. Does that mean it's over now? No more astral competition? Yeah, and I'm sorry to say you lost, Sheena. Next time, you need to pick your allies and opponents more carefully. Yeah, I think you might be right about all that. But even though I thought it was totally cool how you and the others banded together to beat my evil play empire, I'm a little confused. Did I... <laughs> Do something wrong? I didn't really hurt anyone, right? Oh, Sheena. No, I'm not the right person to answer a question like that. Kazumi. Hey, Shinohara. Sarasa. Maybe you could shed some light on this one. Tell me, how do you and Libra <sighs> feel about Sumugi Shina? Sumugi. Uh, how you feeling right now? What was your takeaway from Astral? <sighs> Did you find the whole thing dull? Uh, uh, not a bit. It wasn't dull at all. It was the opposite. Exciting. Astral. MTCG, hitting crossboard. It was all amazing. I'm actually sad that it's over already. It was so, so good I could have kept playing forever. It was so fun. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Because in the end, that's the only thing we really wanted. For people to have a good time. And interest definitely jumped when Miss Hundred Faces showed up. Big bad plot twist. I mean, that was what brought everyone together and made it so memorable, right? You were the MVP! What? The MVP? <laughs> I got this! <laughs> <sighs> I guess all's well that ends well, huh? Aimee takes the win in both Crossboard and Astral, and Sionji hangs on to her title. Wait, what? Why isn't the Astral field deactivating? Let's see. Hmm? <laughs> I managed to save Oka's core base during your radical takeover. What, you weren't hoping for a flawless victory, were you? I've got to make sure that big ego of yours stays in check. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, he's here! <laughs> the champion returns! Excellent work, Shino. It was well played. It's good to have you back with us, Master. Thanks, Himeji. The come from behind victory was so dreamy! Like... I think I've fallen for you even more! <laughs> Not so close, Misaki Suki! Huh? But I haven't even touched him yet! <laughs> <sighs> I've gotta hand it to you. That was impressive. You brought victory to Aimei. As student council president, I owe you my thanks. Yeah, obviously. Haven't you been paying attention? No way. 
I couldn't have won without you guys. Oh, so that's how it is, huh? In that case, I retract my words of gratitude. <laughs> Would it kill you to push back a little bit? As soon as I get that, please. <laughs> <laughs>